five. I was trying to go through StreamYard. I, I did too. You are live and you are live. Uh, I already got five five people watching. Oh, geez, do you? <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be <laughs> <laughs> They're going to go, whose boat are you on? Let me send a link to Daryl. I don't think he's out. No, I know he's not out, but he'll still come up and bug us. I guess. Copy. Copy clipboard. Go back. Steve Ransom. What's up, Steve? Fishing with Steve Mosley in the house. I got to send this to Daryl real quick. I'll be right back. Everybody jumped on your live and it's not in mine. I'm still at one. Oh, one person. Woo! James is live too. James is fishing with me. We'll drop off one of them here quick, though. I'm sure. All right. Who else we got? Miss Place Country Fishing Girl, Northern Outdoors. What's up? I'm out here fishing with the, uh, there he is, the man of the hour, John from Catfish Hunters. What's up, Jack? Outdoors. Hey, Lynn. Yeah, and we're down in the, oh, we're, as a matter of fact, we're down in the Chester Frost area where the gathering will be held. Yep, yep. We're fishing one of Daryl's spots. Yep, we're going to go today. We're going to go through. I'm going to show John all Daryl's spots out this way. Woohoo! Somebody's got to do it. Now I got six, six people. What do you got? Zero now. Oh, okay, good. Oh, because you made, uh oh, there it is. Catfish Jody. Oh, Pontoon Jody. What am I saying? Catfish Jody. Color Dink, Dink Jody. The Dink Hunter. She got all mad. Stream yard. Yeah, I was trying to get my uh, watch time up. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> but you definitely have more people watching. Oh, uh, no, I'll drop off, though. You're fine. I don't need to be up. Catch all of Daryl's fish. I'm going to try, Lynn. <laughs> Let's see, John and Daryl. I can't come up right now. It's okay. No problem. All right. So today we're going to try to uh, fish several different spots and see if we can get skunked in eight or nine different places. <laughs> because as I always say, how's the weather out here, John? It's actually butamous. That's right. And when the weather's butamous and you're comfortable and not miserable, you ain't you catching catch no fish. fish. Never. Because the fish like go, oh, it's oh, the fishermen will be out today. It's a nice day. I'm not eating anything. That's my theory on it. What oh, size matters. Catfishing. What's up? Yo, what's up, y'all? Good luck out there. Good. We I need it. What a nice community that we share each other's fishing spots. <laughs> No, I just, I just, I just share Daryl's, not mine. Right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to take him to my spot, so I figured I'd, we'd fish Daryl's spots. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to show him all my dragon spots. <laughs> yeah, dragon's so much work. Can you believe that? What's it, Burke? Or, uh, he's in a kayak. He runs ten rods and ten planer boards from mm. his kayak. rack. Mm. From Ryan Bortz. I didn't know he had it like was I, I, I can't even run I couldn't run 10 player boards I could barely run the four or five the four or six I run I can't imagine running it from a kayak no. you wonder why he's catching fish he's got the whole river covered right yeah I definitely couldn't that's do that. impressive I mean I, I couldn't do it in my live the other night I ran my trolling motor batteries all the way down to nothing I, we did that Saturday but it took first. but it took about Seven hours of it running at eight, eight, seven and eight the whole time. But I had eight lines out, and what a disaster. I'm trying to reel them all in. I was in heavy current, so the boat's like moving down. So I'm dragging them all the line, trying to get snagged. But I made it without anything getting snagged. Here we go. I can only manage six rods on my yak. Yeah. R or Ryan, he, he runs uh, 10 on a kayak. There's no way. Two people in. Welcome, welcome. 
Ryan is going full time fishing Down now. Ernie uh, Brown, what's up? Morning. Just out here with the catfish hunter, seeing uh, what we could do today down here in the Chester Frost area, where the uh, what was I going to say? Where the gathering shall be gathering. We're pre-fishing for the gathering. Yeah, a little early. <laughs> But yeah, pretty nice day today. So uh, it'd be pretty hard to get a catfish in this nice weather. I mean, this like this like late April, Mayish type of day. Yeah, it is. Well, for anybody who cares, we're sitting in almost fifty foot of water, very rough, rocky bottom. Marked a lot of fish coming through here. So we stopped for a minute. I said, hey, there's fish right here. Let's see if we can't cook them. He's running all Mad Cat's rods now, like a good guy. Yep. Still need to get the skunk off the gremlin. gremlin. Yep. My, that's yep. my that's my luckiest rod. Jody gave me a gremlin, and it, it seems like it, it all catches a fish every time. I went back and watched my live the other night. I never watch them, but somebody said, go back and watch and see when you hook that fish. I was talking, not paying attention. <laughs> that rod was going down for five minutes before Dude, I got over to it. Nobody, was... nobody typed in. Nobody typed in chat. Hey, check your rod. Yeah, when Dana and I were laying in bed watching, I'm like, own oh, it, because I rewound it. I'm like, oh, there's the bite, James. Nobody, okay. nobody said anything to me. I was in there eating my grapefruit, just having a good old day. It was probably on there a good minute at least before I, I noticed it. And when I noticed it, it was it was like just like bent down. Not it yeah. wasn't it wasn't bumping like it was because he's. And I was like, I wonder if that's a fish. Oh yeah, it yeah, was it was a good takedown. It was a nice takedown. I mean, it just yeah for somebody who ain't paying attention and stayed there. And it figures that I had just taken the guard dogs off. But that's a good short. Make that into a short. Yeah. Look, he's not paying attention. My uh my takedown videos seem to do the best. Especially the planer board ones. When you see the planer board skipping across yeah. the water real quick, yeah, those those shorts get tons of views. Back to only one person. I'm up to twelve. They're like, we're not, we're not, we're not going to you, John. James is more popular. I got everybody saying hi to each other. Hi, 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 hi. Fishing with Steve Mosley. Okay. Did you put my boat on charge before you left? Did you order that charge? Queen? Of course I did. I always do what I'm told. Oh, there he is. Tissue seeker outdoors. <laughs> I'm just kind of moseying around showing John's all, all. He didn't know any of your spots out here in Chester Frost, Daryl. So from here, we're going to go hit the wall at the house, and then we, I, I'm going to show them all. We'll see if we can pull any fish out of them. Thank you, James. You're welcome, Jody. Nice. Northern Outdoors. Hey, country girl. Everybody's saying hi, 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 hi. Misplaced. Uh, hi, trophy seekers. Yeah, Daryl, he don't fish much anymore now that he's in the hundo club and stuff. So, well, him and Woody. Do not show him my spot. Yeah, that's the first place we fish. Sorry, Jody. No, I didn't show him your spot. This is our first stop, and then we're right out, right out the mouth of the uh, thing. He saw fish on the fish finder, so we stopped, and I, I tried to explain to him that Anytime I see fish, I never able to catch the fish I see. So, Daryl, whatever it takes to catch fish, James, you get them. Yeah, he's saying that. Yeah. He's gritting his teeth. You can see, I can, yeah, I can just tell the hostility. Dar and he's just trying to be polite. <laughs> yeah, Daryl, Daryl's, Daryl's the one who likes to ride around scanning for fish and then stopping and anchoring. So but I, he's caught him. I he caught him. And that's why I stopped because he told I, me. I know, but I don't catch him like he does. He told me I'm a scrub for not doing it. Like he's that. all like, hey, there's, there's one fish. He stopped on one fish. We caught it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. I don't know. It's pretty nice out here. Oh, well, we've been here 10 minutes. What should we do, Joe what? Jellison? Yeah. Well, Joe <laughs> says. Actually, this what is, would Joe do? We'd be reeling in, but 
<laughs> Actually, this would be a horrible place to fish in, in the summer and in spring because you're going to have 5,000 boats oh, yeah. going back and forth. You're going to get wake washed the whole time. And I mean, I'm talking some good wake wash. I don't know. Yeah. I hope everyone's okay. I'm doing okay. Hey, Daryl, brother. Hope all is well. Oh, hey, there we go. Catfish or 217 Rebel Outdoors. What's up? What's up, 217? Yeah, we're just chilling out here with 16 people watching. Uh, you want to? Well, we're good. Okay. Were you ready to move? No, I'm okay, not ready to okay. move yet. Right. No, I'm going to. I give a half hour. I'm yeah, not I'm, 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 I'm a three. camper, dude. I. If I, I'm gonna take the time to throw it all out, that's why I like dragging because I can throw it all out and I don't have to do that for a while. Yep. I catch a fish, then I, you know. Well, I'm a camper. I usually like to try to find places like the catfish highways, choke points and stuff where you know they're gonna come through sooner or later. So you just so you can sit there and the fish is gonna come through soon, you know, at some point in time. Hard to do that in tournaments because you ain't got time to be sitting there for right. two hours waiting on a fish that might not come, but. I got my game plan for Saturday, but, but with the rain and the wind that's going to be there, I don't know. Ernie, Daryl's babysitting. Oh, my goodness, the child's ruined. Right. Stupid weeds growing before I even plant stuff. No, I hear you. I finally broke down and mowed the yard, and that means every four days for the rest of the trying to get try not to hold, hold back on that first mow as long as I can. I needed to do that yesterday, and I didn't do it. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, you can watch the grass in my yard grow. It grow. Oh, there we go. Get them. Get them, John. That's Get them. Oh, and oh, that's a good one. Get them. Oh, he came off. No, he didn't. Oh, we need it. We're going to need Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, John, John, John. You know what? It's your hooks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you put rubber hooks on here. Why'd you do that? I told you to not use the barbless. Well, I wanted a challenge. You cast it right back in the same place, and that fish is still there. You'll get him again. You don't, oh, my goodness. He's, he's got young timers. Well, that was a good sign. We're only here about 10 minutes, right? Uh, Yeah, 15 maybe. But, yeah, about 10. So, that's good. There we go. What have we got? Thank God I don't have to mow, says Misplaced Country Girl. Yeah, be happy. Daryl, have Hello, mine. the one person in here. Oh, stop, one person. That's all I have on mine. It's one. Man, and how many subscribers you got? 17. No, you got... 1,700. Oh, 1,700. Yeah, none of them like you. See, that's a, you guys are crazy. Well, they're all in on yours. You're more popular than I am. Nah, I'm that's not okay. Popular. Yeah, you are. Because you're a cool cat. You know what it is? Is they they, <laughs> they thought they were going to get to see my boat, and now that they see yours, they're starting to punch out. <laughs> no. They thought Jody was going to be on here. No, they I get that all the time. YouTube going Where, where's Jody? Where, where's Jody? Where's Where's the queen? Dude, I got that on one of my lives. Um, Porcupine pig. That's somebody new. The one with the one uh, with. With Daryl, I went live on. I had somebody kept asking, "Where's Jody? Where's Jody?" I'm like, "Well, I'm not trying to be douchey. I like Jody and everything, but this is Catfish Hunters TV, yeah. not Pontu Jody's channel." Yep. Porcupine Pig, welcome in. I don't think I could say I've seen that name before. Well, I, as you can tell, would be Cool Cats Fishing, and I'm fishing out on Catfish Hunter's boat today. The Battle Wagon. That's a nice boat, though. Thanks. Lots of free space in the back for pulling in the big pigs. You could go down here and go take a siesta in the little cuddy cabin, which I won't show for too long because it's messy. Jody, you need to go out with John so you can reorganize everything for him. So he can't I find anything. Find so he can't find anything. Uh. <laughs> she gets bored and she starts. Oh my goodness! Should be going through all your cover. You should be moving everything. Should be. Oh, this shouldn't be here. This needs to go over here, and that goes down there. Sounds like custom screen printing got over. 
Over 1K subs, but only two watching the live stream. Hey, Three Nights, what's up? Yak Shores Outdoors. What's up, Yak? Yak in the house. It's a fast yak attack. Amazing what happens when you get uh, black subs. Oh, from the Filipinos. I don't think he, he did that. No, I don't have. Yeah, he didn't. No, no he just. 93% of my subs are in the U.S., it says. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have any from over there. I've got a couple in England. Scotland. I like it. Jody likes it clean. He just like it to where I can't find anything. I do have some subscribers in Turkey. Turkey? <laughs> I got a couple from over in the UK and stuff, but I don't think I have any from the Philippines or anything. A couple from Japan. Japan. All right, Blue Ghost. They seem to like that shad head. Let's get it. Yep. Yeah, Jody likes it organized, all right. I mean, I think I've got it somewhat organized. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Jody, Jody will come in here and show you what's organized. <laughs> like I said, you got to move everything around. It's silly that you keep this here when it should be over there. And this goes, and this goes, I'm like, okay. Actually, I am going to. He's got it. He's, he's, got, it pretty, he's got it pretty well organized, I must say. Got his scissors and uh, pliers and everything there. He's got his cutting board down there in the middle. It's a setup. Well, Jody'd have a hard time uh, reorganizing. I like the sunshade. Where'd you get that? Is that a carp one? Uh, Dana got it um, from Scotland. No, oh, brother. See, I can't can't or find Ireland, them anywhere. Ireland. It's you need you need to make those and start selling them because you'd make a billion. Well, I mean, uh, Freddie is doing that already. Yeah. yeah. He had the little video of him the, hanging the, from the, the tripod. Net thing and, and, yeah. yeah. But he's selling them for like four hundred and seventy-five dollars a piece. That's a little much. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what he's selling <laughs> he's them saying, for. That's the price of the multi bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know what he's selling them for. So. Uh oh. That same rod. It's a big shad head. Yep. So you missed a big fish already, huh? Or it was a small fish. That what do we got here? Mouth. You know how that goes. No custom screen printing with this Filipino. Okay, Jody says. Oh, I, I highlighted her thing. I don't need to highlight that. Star, delete, put. Oh, guys. See, I don't. I hit a wrong button. How do I get rid of it? Remove from stage. Exit so oh man, I don't even know. What am I gonna do? How do I get that comment unhighlighted, Jody? Remove from stage. Here we go. Maybe if I hit this. <gasps> nope, that wasn't it. Oh well, Jody's comment's gonna be up there forever. <laughs> Cause like I don't know how to take it down. Oh, I got it. Whew, boy, I was worried there. That's why we have our own channel. Okay, 3K just turned over 30,000 miles, 300,000 miles on my truck. That's good. I got like 220, I think, on my Forerunner now. Yeah. Best way to build your channel with genuine supporters. Yeah, that's what they say. I just broke it in, Donald. Yeah, I didn't schedule to go live or anything today. So. I don't ever schedule. I just pop in. I usually wait until somebody else is live so I could jump on top of them and make them all mad. No, I don't worry about that. We got like three people watching now. None. Let me get out of here. None. None. It's back to zero. Really? I got 14. Which, is, which isn't bad for me on a... The other night I had like 59 at one yeah, point in my life. I can't well. believe that. That's like that's a that's a record for me. You want to put your phone up there? Especially without Jody? No, because then I can't read the chat. I normally stand right here so I can read the chat. Oh, listen to him. He's he's got it down. Yeah. Well, that's because Jody said if I don't read the chat, people are not gonna stick around. Yeah, they don't. They want to hear what they what they write. 145 on my new truck. Wow. I think I have 128 on my little car, my Hyundai Genesis Coupe. 
my over-glorified go-kart. If this wind kicks up any more from that direction, I'm aft for the other side. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a dual drift soccer. You ever take off with your drift sock in? Not yet. I did. Lost it. Rope broke. Sunk. Why did it sink? It's got flotation in it. Uh, it broke where the flotation oh. was on this side of it. But yeah, I got, mine's I got, got a big, much. huge piece of foam in the top of it that keeps it. Yeah, I was thinking about doing something bottom. like that too. But there you go. You're going to lose another one? Get him. James, you're up. You're a guest on my boat. Come on. Here, I'll hold your phone. Oh, here, you can hold the phone. You can read chat. But that's good. That's the second bite. I mean, we're getting a bite about every five, ten minutes. Not bad. Yep, yep. And that is going to be on the skipjack because I went, I went shad, skipjack, shad. So the first one came on the skipjack, on the shad head. Here, I got something for you. I've got an idea. <laughs> He's got an idea. Look out. Yep, watch out, man. Uh, thought I smelled smoke. I was thinking, uh oh, somebody's writing a lot. Okay, Porcupine, sorry. Right? Martin was in the toy, Troy's live for about 30 minutes, getting ready for bed. Porcupine, still listening, moving along slowly along M25 towards London. I'm on tipper duty. I take it she's from overseas then, huh? Hey, Brandon. Yeah, you got bait. 922, welcome in. Oh, look, see, you're making a run for it now. John, CFO, James. Got a couple folks in. There you go. Well, I'm actually going to let you guys know. Go ahead and hop over to James's. Why? Well, because I was going to make it where you could I could mount your phone right there so you didn't have to hold it. Oh, and since fun. you have more viewers, it's better to have you You need the watch hours. You're going to have one person watching. That's going to give you. Otherwise, you'll be like Fazizzle. <laughs> Four watch hours with 40,000 subscribers. Hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. No, that's okay. Yeah, we're all good. Mount and everything. Mount. Mount them up. I'll just hand the phone off to you when I catch the big fish. So. I'm just amazed we've got a bite with as nice of a day it is. No problem, misplaced Martin. A mod for Troy on the day in question. I don't know what they're talking about, but that's okay. Just one knibble on that. Keep streaming, John. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to actually turn my camera and a couple of you will know exactly where I am. Came across marked a ton of stuff all along the rough bottom we've had two hits so far a really nice one on the blue ghost which is a shad head and then the other blue ghost got it uh, just a tippy over tap here just a small one um and that skipjack i believe jay yep. said so we have skipjack and shad out action not on the hook, Jeremy. What? Let's see what Jeremy said. Oh, hey, Jeremy Tournament Cats. What's up? Welcome. Uh, where are the fish at? Not on the hook yet. Had a couple bites. I haven't been out very long. Ooh, here we go. We got Grayson. Grayson Bass Boats. I love these guys. Wah. And wah. Yeehaw. The other way so we're going to get wake washed wake washed that's where the fun is wake but uh i'd rather have go by on plane like that than go by slow like he's technically throwing up a rooster tail yep so i got 18 people in my chat and you know it was funny the other night when i had tons of people in my chat nobody text or sent a message saying i had a fish on they just let me have that fish sit out there for five minutes. That was so hilarious. It was Stort funny. the fish whisperer. Hello, Stort. Nice looking spread. Yeah, that's right, Fazazzles. Stort, you're the... He's Stuart from overseas. That's the one who was on live that, that tied up some... I got some eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got yep. some eight. I haven't gotten him yet, but thanks for that. Well, they're coming from over there. It. it might take a month. 
Yeah, I know. It's got a slow boat, slow boat. From, <laughs> slow boat from Scotland. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. But yeah, the name of that is Witchwood. That, Witchwood. That, um, oh, okay. Because uh, mine, mine's actually found me. Jody's sixty-three pounder was what actually tore a hole in mine. So, mine's getting old and brittle. He he should start. Bug weekend. Three! Woohoo! Three people! <laughs> Off. And fizzle in the house. Oh, there we go. Burrito Catfish and Lady. Hey there. She was in my live stream last week. Hey, all in chat. I need another blue cat cookie. Yeah, we do. James Skittles, a.k.a. John. Yeah, he says he's got them in the truck for it, mate. I got some Skittles in the truck for He him. says he's got some, so we'll see. I meant to give it to him before we got on the boat so he could actually tell everybody I'm live and, and get the FBI off my back because yep. they're all, like, trying to go through our finances thinking that we're a, a front for the mob. That's what I said. Money. You're in laundry and Yeah, money. you're telling the FBI all my secrets. I mean, all yeah. these lies. Yeah. <laughs> Just a front. Just Come a on, front to, to, to wash the money. Freeze dried skittles, I'm so sure. Jody is still first place in the weekend Mad Cats challenge. Nope, she's in second place, the Zizzle. Somebody had like a 72 or something, she said. I appreciate it, Stuart. Stuart says he was in both lives, but he's going to stay here to help me with some watch hours. There you go. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Heck yeah, I hope I get fifteen hundred bucks. You mean seven fifty, Jody. I'm getting half that money. <coughs> that would be awesome though if you could won that. What? I haven't seen one bigger. Jody, didn't you say somebody had a bigger fish than you on the Facebook on the Mad Cats page? That had the code and everything. I saw one posted, but they didn't have the code. It was just an didn't have the code. Pounder. It was a picture of one. I mean, there may have been one I missed because it is Facebook after all. Yeah. Not today, little Lisa. Little little, little Lisa. James changing boats. I'm out here with the catfish hunter today. I can't find it now. It was seventy two pounds. Well, maybe they, maybe it didn't make it. Maybe there was something wrong. And today's Thursday. You only got to make it another day. Day and a half. Marillo Family Fishing. What's up? Welcome in. <laughs> 922 says Lisa's over there. She can't find me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I she will probably have, did. I will have Mexicat put in a good word for you, Catfish Hunters. He deals with the alphabet guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Let's see here. Matt, are you weak? What I miss? Changing boat rental. Yep. Now I'm in the Catfish Hunter's boat today. The next time we go out, we'll take mine. He's got a nice boat, though. It's big, plenty of room. Although that two-stroke 225 could really suck down that petrol. <laughs> you can't even hear mine when it's on. Yeah, I know. Same I with Daryl's. It's so quiet, man. Yep, misplaced my fishing. I'm wild. happy with my 10.9 blue cat. That's a good blue cat. Maddie Week, Marilla Family Fishing. I saw a guy that posted a 70-plus, but he forgot to do the video. Oh, what a shame. Uh, Want to be outdoors says negative Lisa. Shanna was sad we forgot to do a video for her fish. Yep, that's a shame. Matt, okay. Stan three. What's up, y'all? What's up, Stan? Eric B. Want to be outdoors using? Oh, oh John's using. Yeah, drive safe nine two two. John's using freeze dried Skittles that actually freeze dried. Colombian powder. <laughs> it's all in the packaging. Oh, That's geez. funny. That's funny, one of them. Oh, there's Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Bobcat. 
Yeah. So Bobcat. Bobcat. Bobby. Well, when Bobby. you say Bobby, you mean Baldy. No, Bobby. 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 By hey, Bob, I got two big uh, decals I want to put on my boat, and I'm scared to put them on because I think I'm going to mess it up. I might need you to do an install. I was going to say if you can find a um, a place that does tint, they can do it. Is it? Yeah. Well, I got Bobby can do it. Well, I know he's down here. You're up there. Yeah, I come fine. down here a lot, though. I'll come down here to see Bobby. And we got Brina. What? What are going fishing later? Oh, we are going fishing later, Captain Morgan. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm sorry. Hey, Don Long. Don Long. What's up? Got okay. five in here. Misplaced. I. It was my second and third blue cat fish that I caught ever. Oh, that's good. We um. We had a really nice takedown earlier. Missed it, but it was on a huge shad head, so, so that could be why. Yep. Yeah. Bob says he needs bait. No, he doesn't. Brandon got it all at Nick. Oh Jack. yeah, that's right. They got like four hundred skipjack yesterday. What did I tell you to go? I hope they didn't. Where did I tell you to go? Where did I tell you to go? And where did you go? You didn't tell me till after that. No, I told you. I said you go. I'm going to go up to Watts Bar try to get some. I said oh, no. I didn't go to, go to I know. I said go to Nickajack. Where'd you go? Chickamauga. Daryl, they they sat there and they were just jumping in the boat. They didn't even have to try to catch them or anything. That's how it used to be at Chickamauga. You could just wag your finger and here they'd come, but. You know, it's not like that anymore. My dad caught a PB last night. Oh, really? What do you what get? You get? A PB what there, Stan 3? You didn't name sturgeon. Fish. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> oh, there's no way it's a PB sturgeon. You ain't beating that 222. Yeah, they, they filled up like three ice chests. Daryl said he was catching three at a time for like all afternoon. Oh, shh. And the only reason it's like that is because you can't fish from the bank there. Yeah, you, you, you can fish at that uh, outcrop. On, if you get off on the first exit, you fish in the lock, they're in there. Joe goes in there all the time and catches them. No, I'm talking about uh, Nickajack. Right, I'm talking about Nick and Jack too. Right, what I'm saying is from the bank, because I've tried to catch skips from the you bank. you got to be there. on the other side. On the lock side is where you catch them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I told Dana. We on the Patriot pay. Rod, Stan, laugh out loud. Brandon, Bob's bait. Oh, Brandon's, Brandon is Bob's bait handler. The day could be worse. Could be in the CTF drama. Catch the fever? Catch the fever drama. What drama they got going that's, on? That's the only CTF I know of. Yeah, who's CTF and who's the drama? We love drama. No, not really. So what's let's hear about the PB there, Stan. Okay. Unfortunately, not a catfish. It was a 30-pound striper. Sweet, though. That's a good catch. We'll take that. That beats mine. I think mine's 28, <coughs> my PB striper. I gave Bob 25 skips yesterday because we have so many that we can't even freeze them all. John should have went to Nickajack. I mean, nobody said that. You're, you're right, Fizzizzle. I, I told him. He don't listen to Thanks me. Thanks for the invite. I, you told me that after I'd already spent the day at, Ch at uh, Chickamauga. Negative. It was yesterday, and I told you the day before. Nice try. You it's told okay. me the day before. Yeah, I did. When we were talking, you said I. You said tomorrow I'm gonna go to Watts Bar. I said no, go to Nickajack, and you went to Chickamauga. Yesterday is when you told me that. No, I, I told you, you. No, you're gonna make me go to conversation. I, I will. I will because you are wrong. Just shows how much he doesn't listen. Yeah, that might be true. <laughs> so I guess I spelled it, right, it wrong. On, let's go. It's getting hard to read chat with all these people in here now. <laughs> Four. Hey, what's up, bro? I got 24. What's up, Gil Strat? That's still cool. That's still cool, Stan. Yep. We've had two. One really good hit didn't hook up on a huge shad head. And we had one little paparui 
Oh, nice. Sure S3. Sure. Those are a fun fight. Marillo Family Fishing. That sure is a skin striper. So I guess I spelled it wrong. Oh, stripper. Skinny stripper. <laughs> Daryl took all the bait. Of course he did, because that's how he rolls. Daryl, remember who told you where the skipjacks was? Not me. He or she needs a sandwich. I'm talking about a 30-pound stripper. <laughs> it's not stripper. Striper. I guess that's bad, bad. What my phone autocorrect does. The pole swings around her. Oh, the pole swings around her. Enough with the stripper already. My goodness, people. Fizzizzle. We'll never see any of that bait again. Oh, that's Bobcat oh, wow. saying. Yep, Daryl's probably already got it freeze-dried. Up in uh, Ottawa? So I guess Canada? It's gone. Gone! Catch the fever, and I'm not going to bring it up. Too much to type out. All right, no problem. Dram? I'll give John two skips. I brought him skips. No, no worries, Bob. Oh, Illinois. I always got bait, Bob, because of Jody. She's a she's got her bait license. <laughs> Brandon, can I get half a skipjack to fish I catch lately? Is my last five months. Where was so, Daryl throwing the net? No throwing the net. They caught him online and hooking hook and line. You're also hearing uh, my buddy James on live on his channel. For those who this didn't pudding know in he here, I didn't to. see him. He was in earlier there, Stan Three. Pudding. Pudding's babysitting grandson today. Yep. Jody needs to go back to Kentucky for another load of skips. Well, actually, they're running up there, too, right now, so she might get get some this time. I was going to say, didn't she only get one? Yeah, <laughs> one, and somebody gave her one. She ought to give you something as often as you rescue her. Daryl did his best Saturday. Bless his heart. <laughs> Put on a clinic, he did. Hey, they started catching in the afternoon. What, they yep. jump up to third or something? Fourth. Fourth? Yeah. Yeah, he was behind. I'm yeah, he bought on me making back. Kentucky Dam run soon, Brandon. Yeah, they said they're biting up there again. They should be running the Watts Bar here pretty quick, but they're not in abundance yet. And Watts Bars, they're, they're the hardest skipjacks to catch anyway. They're the most finicky, and they're the biggest, and they fight the most, and they tear the hook right out of their mouth. All right, Fisher, we're going to get a couple more. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Go, James. Go, 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 go. Fish on. Look at that. It ain't even. How, how loose you got your drag there? Oh, he's a monster. Where's Daryl? This is a big, big fish. Man, you got your drag loose, I think. Yeah. It may have gotten bumped. This is. Man, this is a big. Everybody, this is a big. Oh, he's getting bigger. He's nettable. Well, if he's nettable, let me get that right. Yeah, he's got to be nettable. See, John, this is how you, you don't pull the hook out of his mouth. Hey, I appreciate I better shut up or I'm going to lose the, it before uh, I get him up here. I appreciate the info, man. Because I'll tell you what, since December. Oh, 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 don't stop rolling, dude. Since December, oh, my, he's rolling. He's my rolling. fishing has sucked. So man, this guy is like rolling up a storm. Run up fish. All right, I'm gonna set you guys down because I he's gonna need the net. So yep. hopefully that is an okay spot right there. Man, he should be almost here. Oh, there he is. He's not a monster, but he's okay. Oh, and your phone. It don't matter. Fifteen, maybe. If you're right, fifteen. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get in the head with that. If you want to set it free, you put it in there. I'm trying to get down. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this might be a dub. Might be a 20. -ish. Maybe. There he is, talking up a storm.
Look at that. What a handler. This is a good uh this is a good uh skunk buster here. Yeah. Uh, where's everybody at? There we go. Whoa, whoa, easy, huh? Not bad fish. Hey. Yeah. What? What's that? Oh, John had you hooked earlier, but he, he slacked the line off and you got off? Oh, okay. Mwah. Thanks for that. Take that. I appreciate the, the trash talking. <laughs> it's a fish. We show it's mine. Oh, yeah. Here you here, here two people. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Thanks. I knew you were got a tail whipped in the face as he's looking at the thing. Not a bad fish. Tennessee blue cat will take him. I wouldn't say the average fish, a little bigger than average. What? Oh, I'm not going to repeat that. He's he talking said, about Daryl. Yeah, I know. He, he, I heard him about Daryl. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll let this guy go. You want to wait on Skunks it? I mean, out of, oh, I, we can. Yeah, we can just scale. Go. Let's feel important. Let's All act right, like well, we're somebody. Let's put you back then, folks. I should have brought my little uh, my little holder for the uh, for the. I can't even say now. The holder for the phone. Jody's got 90,000 of them in my boat. Look at him. He even wet the net. This guy knows what he's doing. You always want to wet your sling before you put the fish in, is what I'm told. Oh, this is a pretty good sling. My new Mad Cat scale. Yep. Never used till now. So we're gonna... Boy, you get a 100 pounder. It's going to be hard to get this thing all the way up here. And we're going. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. Probably 22. What's your, what's your sling weight? 2.38. So he's uh, 20. About oh, 22 gosh, yeah. even. Yep, 22 even. All right. 22 even, if y'all can see it. And 22 even. And I guess we'll let him go over here. I'll just open the sling up, let him swim out. Get the release. Oh, another beautiful blue here from Tennessee. For those of you that are going to the gathering, very attainable fish up in this area. Yeah, go out the front. I was going to let that one side down, but I wanted them to swim out the front because it looked better. It does, but he's 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 gone. He's a Daryl fish. He he's out of here. Right on. No skunk today. He asked if I guaranteed a fish on the Catfish Hunters TV channel. And he said he did. There you go. And there it is. John, a man of his words. I like that. You put that right there where it's all wet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the big question is, do you leave fish to find fish or are we sticking it out here? <laughs> you know, it's funny because I was about to go. We could go. I mean, that's fine. But that fish makes me want to give it a few more. Well... That could have been the only fish here, though. I mean, not according to what we saw. I don't know. What do you think, James? I know you like to sit. I, I, I'll tell you what. Another if minutes. I catch a fish, I give it at least 10 more minutes. Yeah, I'm about that way, too. So it also came on the smallest float. Oh. Ooh, this is yourself. one of my absolute this, favorites. Of, what is it? It's called the pig, pig sticker. Pig sticker. Yep, that's a nice look. Look at the barb. See, I don't care about the offset and stuff. I care about the barb because that's what keeps the fish on. Yeah. But it's good if you have a big chunk of bait because of the gap. Yeah. You got to have, of... have a good gap and got to have a good barb. That's all I'm looking for in a hook. Yeah. Show, show them three people. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And who snuck in here while I was catching a fish? Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's supposed to be super windy Saturday, 25, 30 mile an hour winds. Kentucky, four hours from me, and it's bad. I'd rather go to Kentucky than Ar Arkansas. Arkansas. Not Arkansas. Arkansas. They started catching fish when they watched us. Don't let Daryl fool you. Bob, I let Jim fish with me. Stand three. I got a prediction for Saturday. Bob's going to get a 122 pounder. 
Would that be a state? No, it's 128, isn't it? 128, I think, yep. Him. I let him fish with me. That, that's All right, a, yeah. We're going to give it a little a, bit more time. This is a big fish, Daryl. I guess Stan 3 jumped into mine for a minute and then jumped back out. But. Hey, guys, big fish here. That's a big fish, guys. That was hilarious with Daryl. It's huge mungus. Stan 3, I'm, je I'm jealous. Wind is blowing like 30 miles an hour here. Well, it's going to be Saturday when we have our second half of the King of the Tennessee. Bob guesses says, that's my spot you're in. That sucks, Bob. Sorry to I hear mean, about he the wind. I mean, he thinks every spot is his spot. No, he that's Daryl. That. Daryl, I told Daryl I was going to buy him little, like, buoys. And he could just put a little buoy that says Daryl. I got to get, like, real small ones. And he could put them. They'd be all up and down the river everywhere. I like that rock ledge spot. But there's some nice fish around there. I bet there is. Is Watts Bar Lake section of the Tennessee River? Uh, yes, Watts Bar Lake is part of the Tennessee River system. So we're wow. going to give this a few more minutes. Eric B. And, I'm uh, in Tennessee. Maybe hit another spot. I wanted to go take take James Dragon at a certain spot, but when I went through there, there was nothing there. So I'm not going to waste time. Came through here, started marking a lot of fish. Really rough, rocky bottom. So figured give it a little bit of time yeah. here. Got that. Got a really nice bite about 10 minutes, 15 minutes in. Didn't hook up because I'm a slacker and I use rubber hooks with no barbs. And then uh, <laughs> we retied some real hooks on and James uh, James managed to catch himself with a 20, what? 22.22 pound blue. Uh, so that's kind of the update. We're going to give this spot a few more minutes because of that hit. Um, See if there's something else. Peace, out here love, and play. macarons, and Eric B have joined. Well, that's Dan. I believe John has some freeze-dried Skittles in his truck, James. Uh, yeah, they're in his <laughs> truck because he's not going to give them to me. He already forgot. <laughs> I don't know if you were in when we caught the fish, but we caught the fish, honey. And uh, I'm live too, so thanks for being on James' channel. I'm not <laughs> mine. I can't even get my own wife to watch my shit. Damn! Holy cow! There's Patricia Ackerman, a good friend of mine. I've known for uh, probably 20, 25 years. What's up, Pate? All of these oh. out. Oh, Fizzizzle says all these out of town poachers coming in. Natives rule. Uh, that's nice, John. Talking to two people in his chat. <laughs> Taking the time out to talk to the two people in his chat. It's his, Seven. It's his, it's his mother and somebody else. I don't know. Not my mom. Jody, we need a big fish prize. Poor John. And I think I'm caught up. I'm all caught up. What I can't I can't see that number. What's that number there say? I can't quite read that. It says uh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> Stop. And you got like a thousand more subscribers than me, too. That's funny. Thanks, and have a, have a great day. <laughs> Come again. I think they're all subscribers that watch my shorts, because my shorts, man, are getting almost 10,000 views a short now. Yeah, I don't get but see, I don't not, get, I, I get, I get, my shorts do better than my, my long, because I, I can't video edit with the darn, so my long-term videos are like, uh, like the Blair Witch Project. The camera's all jumping all around. There's like, yeah, I can't there's like, like there's joke. like an hour and a half of nothing happening. Yeah, Joe's like an editing machine. Man. Yeah, I got to give that to him too. Not Bobcat only too. Bobcat could edit, edit some, throw some edits up there. Woody's good at it. Daryl doesn't do it. Woody does it for him. Yeah, I need a Woody. Well, I don't know about that. I'm a little salty at Woody because when I went back and watched the bait video, I caught more big bluegill, but he only showed the small bluegill I caught. <laughs> I that's delight. editing. That's a secret of editing. <laughs> that's why you. That's why you learned how to edit. There you go. This guy got to come in and fish on top of you. How dare those cat fishermen be in my bass hole? <laughs> that's, that's probably what it is. <laughs> they are bass holes, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. Look at them. Now, let me get over here and just give them the biggest wig I can. He's like, oh, forget it. They're there. They've ruined it. Oh. 
Bobcat. My shorts have holes. No, my shorts have holes and skid marks. <laughs> when you say freeze dried Skittles, do you mean Colombian bomb bomb? <laughs> They're going to have you on some watch list Dude, or something. That would be Catfish Hunters, by the way. That's not cool catfishing. I'm not running the... No, uh, that's Pontu Jody. I'm not running the, 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 money, the money laundering business. That's Precision Cabinets. What's it called? <laughs> no, that's yeah, Precision Cabinets. Yeah, Daryl's another one. He's running another money laundering scheme. <laughs> Do you mean uh, Colombian pop bump? <laughs> that's funny. Let's just put it this way. That's Morella family fishing. I'd have a lot better boat if I was if I was doing that kind of stuff. I mean, I got a nice boat. I like it, but what the James? Too early for that kind of talk. Why does his Why a, does his nose itch all the time? We'd be fishing in a forty-two foot uh, Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Shorts has more tracks in them than the railroad station. Yeah, Bobcat, he's got like seven different camera angles. He's, he's, he's cutting in and stuff. He's the man. Go back. Three nights. Hello, Tim. I'll Three rolling. nights. Oh, he jumped ship. I see how he I'll is. I'll be rolling to Goodlitzville today. We need to hit the river when we get a chance, brother. Yeah, Tim, I mean, it really... Hi, honey. She's in there. But, Tim, it just takes you actually coming into town and making a phone call and let me know that you're you're freaking here if you want to go on a fishing trip. Jody well, says, you have choo, your license. choo. To Bobby, have He's... you renewed your license? Yeah, mine was on the 16th. That's why I asked. Well, I got mine on auto renew, so I don't have to mess with any of that. Well, she they actually do. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to share this little tidbit out my wife found. Now, we hadn't done it yet, but if you were born in the state of Tennessee, which I was not, but live in another state, you do not have to get the out of state, out of state, you really? get the in state. Yeah, you just have to send in like your birth certificate and some other stuff. Because our licenses were like due now, and it's only fifteen dollar difference. Yeah, um, I went ahead and just renewed them. But yeah, she could. But that means that she can get like the permanent license. Well, I'm I'm pretty close. I'm at like from my back and all the medical issues I got. I'm like ninety percent through the VA right now. So if I ever made a hundred, it'd be free free fishing license for life. But yeah, apparently that's a really cool thing, Tennessee. I don't know if it's new, just really heard about it and saw it. Um, but Tennessee's got some really cool programs like that. They've got like a military program that if you're from Tennessee and you're stationed somewhere, you only have to pay for your Tennessee residence. They've got a license for mentally challenged kids to where it's like a one-time $10 license and it does them forever. Um, yeah, they have they do a, lot a lot of, of good really programs. good programs in Tennessee to get people out fishing. Cats are supposed to use the litter box and want to be outdoors, tells Bobby. More skin marks than a drag strip. Want to be outdoors. Same goes for 100% disabled vets that live in another state. They get resident prices. That's sweet. Yep, we caught a fish. We're kind of scrolling back through uh, your chat. Hey, I appreciate you subbing three nights. Yeah, I didn't put this one in on sub mode only. Uh, I did the last week one, but I didn't do that to this one. Now, why would you do that I didn't when you only have three week. people coming up watching? Last week, I averaged oh. 14. Oh, well, there you go. So No, I'm actually, this is that, that, that's 27. That was high for me for a daytime thing. Then again, Jody's probably out there, well, probably luck, trying Stuart. to share me out to the whole world. She's good at that. Bobby starts it. Bobby Shorts has more tracks. What you say? My stream is now officially more important than yours. Okay. Because I have the champion of the live tournament fishing league in mind, and he just gave oh, me a sub. Brother. <laughs> Thanks, Stan. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Look at him. Makes it nice to have been born in Chattanooga. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not all should apply for that one. Is there yep. 50? I don't think they have an old, like, I don't think it goes down after age for out of state that I've ever seen three nights. Stan put a bunch of trophies up. Oh yeah, well, he's, 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 he's still eating his cereal out of his out of his uh, trophy. You got morning. a lot of us coming after you this year, Stan, because. Finishing fifth left, left a bad taste in my mouth, and I know the second place guy sitting right here left a bad taste in his mouth. 
So, uh, yeah, we all come in this year. This one's going to be a tight, tight race, especially with the new point system. Only being a one point difference between first and second is going to be a huge difference instead of it being almost double. Didn't it go from like 15 to eight? I think was the old scoring. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, it went to, it's like, uh, the points, you get a lot more points, but everybody, it's only like a point difference in between. Yeah. First that's and what I'm second. saying. Yeah. That's a little, that's, that's going to make it a tighter race. Yeah. I want to be, I got a couple things in pending with the VA right now. So I got just waiting to hear back, you know, how they go. Um, I'm here to, oh, Stan threes in both of ours at one time. How do you do that, Stan? I hope so. Let's raise the bar, Stan said. My bad. Um, I don't, the only person I think that's, Tim is blue, but I'm not sure if he knows how to share links out. And my wife should be blue, but wow, I don't know. Didn't now, if Jody comes over into mine, I know she's a mod on my channel. Bob, I don't know if Bob is. Fishizzle is. So if any of those are in here and want to share out links, that's fine by me. Wow, Marillo, thanks. It says, Marilla. wow, I didn't even have the bell set for Cool Cats, and I, went, I hadn't even subbed the Catfish Hunters, but he has now. Awesome. Thank you. YouTube messing with my universe. Yeah, it's, it's weird. If you if you don't go through a, somebody's page that you're subscribed to or something in a certain amount of time, they'll de, they'll, they'll turn you off. Y'all should get a reply in about four months. Yeah, I, I've had an appeal with the board for five years. So. Uh, All right. I think it's going to be. About yeah, it's time to move. move. We're going to have to move, folks. They got on. They got yeah, water fun, guns out. They just drive. All right, man. Drive store. safe, bro. I think I'll buy one for Friday night. So, oh boy, Jody's buying a squirt gun. Look out! I mean, the only person she can squirt is going to be whoever she's fishing with. So you. Yeah, great. Hey, everybody! I'll be right back. I got to go respond to a text message I got. It might bump me. It might bump me off for a sec. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. There's Catfish Hunters with his professional technique of reeling in. See how he holds the elbow at a 45 degree angle. The pole is at a the proper height to save his back. He catches such he catches all these big fish all the time. He's got to lift with his knees, not his back. Well, I'm going to go help him reel in, so I'm going to set the phone down here for a sec. Let's see. There we go. I'll put it right there for a second. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. You don't really got to swap baits a lot until it gets the water gets super warm. You know, I always you know what it was. If it, it, it still yeah. got blood in it. It was, uh, it was the way I cut the bait up to, to, to maximize the, the, the blood saving. So, uh, it's all, all technique. So the skipjack head didn't get any bite. This, this frog didn't get a nibble. This one had a nibble. And I'm, I'm 99% sure it was the skipjack. Blood in it. So I'm digging the Mad Cat rods, all right, reels, I mean. <laughs> they hold a lot more line than the 65, the Abu 6500s, and they got the power handle on them. So this is the one that got a nibble, and it was skipjack, but it couldn't have been biting too hard. No, it doesn't even look like got, it's got still in it. The line. Guts and blood, so. No, I don't like that. The, the thing below the rod rack here, what's up with that? Yeah, I don't like that either. You get some duct tape, wrap it around, make it a little thicker so it fits in there tight. Well, I've actually got them in there, and then I've got uh, self-tapping screws to the other from one tube into these so they don't move near as much. Okay. Yeah. That's, That's the I only just, negative. That I just talking out loud. No, I'm one billion percent there. It's it's a negative. Ooh, 
right, we are just about ready to go, folks. Where do you want to go? Well, you want to go hit Daryl's spot? Yeah, let's go hit the wall. We'll go hit the wall. We're going to go to Daryl's spot. Try to catch Daryl's fish. All righty. Actually, I think that's the spot that um, Bob and Brandon won some tournament at. Monster Hunt or something? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to mute me while are. we make a run. Because my motor's loud. His motor.
something else to go wrong. Go wrong. Believe me, it's got to be dialed in perfect. I need to go farther down. Yeah, I am. I'm just scanning. Oh, he's, he's scanning. I got a handful of deployments as well, veterans like you and I, who actually deployed and haven't false claimed. Now, if, you, if you've seen me, you talk to Jody about me. I mean, I got days I can't even get out of bed. I can hardly walk. I can't bend at all. My back is blown. My knees are blown. I've had kidney cancer five times, which I haven't been able to tie into the Navy yet. But with all this, I'm starting to recognize all this toxicity that we are exposed to. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I got a lot of problems. But I try Somebody to... shooting at us? Duck, duck, duck cover. Somebody shooting guns. But I hear you want to be. I mean, I just feel bad for, I mean, I, I figure I get money from the VA, but I mean, I almost feel bad because there's guys that are all blown apart, you know, that are having a hard time getting claims. And it's crazy. Crazy world, the VA. All right, we are at our next fishing hall. I mean, look at this guy. He's got electronics up there. He's got his camera there. He's got depth finder and a depth fish finder and a depth finder and another thing. Man, this guy is Captain Electronic. I'm surprised he doesn't have the uh, no love, love scope. scope. No love scope yet? Nope. The love, the love scope. scope is ready to find some bait for you. The love scope. Here's my summer, summer house. I, I ran out during the summer so I could you know, help make the payments on it. Okay, I don't know if I want to be here. Huh? What was that? What was that? Oh, he's moving. I think he's moving. John can't make it. He's very indecisive. He's moving off the fish to go. No, no. Yeah, I myself will use it down. Maybe 30 feet that way. No. But I, what do I know? I've never really caught fish here. Like Daryl the Great. Daryl the Great. And still can't catch a fish. Yep, that's right. I try not to put my stuff out there. Still either. got seven of y'all in here. I appreciate it. Takes me it. about two hours to be able to move around. Going, going to be interesting at the gathering. Yeah, I mean, I have my days. There's been a couple times I've reeled in a big catfish and damn near killed me. Lots of Motrin, Advil, Tylenol. I'm surprised my stomach doesn't have holes in it. I jacked my shoulder up. I was taking a lot of the lead for the yep. naproxen, and man, my stomach's been jacked. And I take a lot of, what is it called? Is that medicine in a bottle? Uh, oh, booze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I drink way too much. But it's like mother's milk. James sounds like a goal announcer. John's going to stop here. No, let's change it up. We're moving again. Goal! He's at the spot now. This is it. Look, look, look on the ground. Look at that. 400 pound catfish on the chart. I can't believe Jody doesn't have a. A phone holder packed in my uh, my my bag for me. I didn't bring more than one. Nah, that's I didn't think. I didn't, think, the I didn't think we'd both be going. I'm just going to go until my phone dies. Anyway, yeah, we got fast fishing and fast fishing. They're not liking you. It just makes it easier to yeah, pass with the hard I, top. I, I, you know how that I, is. I, 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 I know. I, I, I. We're going to have to go with the over-the-shoulder cast here. Oh, you know what? I saw a big fish jump right there last year. And I'm on them. Yeah. 
That's one thing is the bigger drift socks, a lot easier to get a fish tangled up on them. Alright, you can duck. You're clear, you're clear. I've only I've only pierced one ear. Put one in the shallows over there. I am. Let's throw it up there with snag so you can do a new setup. The bass guy's going to be upset because he wants to throw the fly there. Go ahead. I'm waiting on you. True. You, man. Oh, shit. I remember the first time I, I go, guys. We would call that a Jody. You're okay. He just Jody's really bad, so he'll be he'll be untangling that for a few. Oh, you already got it out. Well, it wasn't a real bad job. Oh, look, look. As soon as I say something, I got so a little, I got a little Jody. That is negative about dragging. You have to keep your brake really loose. So when yeah. you anchor cast, you yeah, have okay. to thumb it hardcore. Well, Jody's in the boat. I dial him way down. Gong long. Three stands. Want to be all the way back to James. Thanks, three stands. All right, my phone's looking at your crotch. I want to be high <laughs> Sorry, folks. On Jay's. No, I hey, at least I wasn't sitting there playing with myself or something in front of him. Yep. Hi, yes. John. Wanted to come over and give you a thumbs up. Thumbs down, I mean, thumbs yeah, up. Back to James. And, uh, you have a Thanks, want to be. Us a thumbs up on his uh, channel, too. Golf. What about golf? What's it say? James sounds like a golf announcer. Oh, here we are, here we are at John's spot. He's now he's now going to move forward about 15 feet. Everybody's watching in anticipation. There he goes, and 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 he's in the hole. <laughs> I thought he said goal golf notes again. He's now making a slight adjustment to the drift saw. That's going to yeah, change the trajectory of all the lines. In this line. Here we go. Well. First bite, how many minutes, people? Everybody put, put your call in there. I saw James scratch his butt live the other day. I scratch my butt a lot, Bob, yeah, Bobby. Bobber. Bobby, hey, Bobby. I say within 15 minutes we get a hit. It's 1.04, so. I'm not saying we'll have a fish, but I'm saying we'll have a hit. I mean, with everything we marked, we I think we'd get something around here. I, I would think so too. Well, this is Daryl's spot, so of course you're gonna catch something here. Because Daryl's spots are always filled with fish. One oh four. Wanna be stored, it's not polite to ask someone to drop your link. Yes, it is, Matt. Back to James. I well, still got five folks in here. I appreciate all of you. Well, I told them to go over and give you a, give you a like, a thumbs up. Go give the cat that that John guy. Bobby, it says Bob. You didn't know James has worms and hasn't been to the vet yet. Well, I got that from my dog, so yeah, I try. I eat worms, right? Yeah. Ernie, I know. I thought he took his medication. But I take medication, all right. But it's it's not it's not it's not it's not for that. Yeah, Daryl was out there eating the eating the worms the other day when we were out there. Scumdilliamptious. Lots of good good source of protein. He said if the bluegill can eat it, Bob, he, can he eat forgets it to take so many. Downtown Ernie Brown. A Bobby, Bobby Cat. A Bobby Cat Outdoors. Let's see. Boy, the water's low, isn't it, though? Yeah. Let's see if you had that love scope. Where you could, you could be feet? looking around and see, looking for everything. Oh, yours is a touch screen, too? Yeah, wow, mine's screen. not a touch screen. Well, this one's this got, guy, this guy, look at Mr. Electronics this guy's over got here. Issues, man. 
this I have to turn the uh, volume off because it'll just sit there and beep 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 beep. It's the newest of all my units, but it's got the most issues. Yeah, you know what they say: the higher the. Oh, look at this guy! He's just man. He's got... yeah. Saw a bunch of stuff. Let's go. And I would say after here, I you always have to go fish the hot water outlet for a little while. Okay. And then, then you could go find yourself a place to drag if you, you've got your heart set on it. I'm curious to see uh, your techniques. That's why Daryl said he didn't want to go fishing today. Because at first drag? I asked him, I said, do you want to go fishing? And he's first, he's like, I think I'm busy. But are you going to be dragging? And I was like, probably. And, and he like, never no. said a word yeah. back. That's like work. You don't want to. All right, I'm going to actually redo this. That drift socket's all and he's going to redo this one because that drift sock is all up on that line. There he brown. I'm glad he can move like he does. Yeah, me too. Hey, for sizzle bud, Ernie. The only worm I wish I had was a tapeworm. <laughs> you could eat all the food I eat, and that way I wouldn't get so big. All right, we are set up and ready to go. Let's go fish. Fish uh, eight after. We're four minutes into it. So we got another uh, few more minutes before I said we get a bite. Definitely have a ton of stuff on screen when that's we came a, up through for, here. For me, that's a kiss of death, though. I mark fish. It seems like I never get them. I'm not going to fib. I've had that happen quite a few times lately. This winter, I usually, I, yeah. serious, I, I, got, I get I was so frustrated the other week. I, I started going places where I didn't see anything and fish there. And I'll be danged if I didn't catch a fish. Boy, the bassers are out today, huh? Yep. Lots and lots of bass boats. Man, it's a nice day, though. Look at that big screen TV and the gazebo up there. Oh, jeez. Huh? Huh? They're really roughing it. Right. I bet you they have us up live on the TV, right? On their security system? Yeah. I mean, they are roughing it because they don't have a boat dock. That's... That's... Oh, I want no. That's a house up there. I was gonna say, I wonder if it's one on the point, but that's probably yeah, that's the house probably there. House. I mean, you could see they had old rusty, crusty stairs. Well, they're they're that probably they're old. probably like 125 years old. So yeah, yeah. They got that Daryl Morris money. All the outside fans are going in the house. That's Somebody's true. got to be homes. Or they just like to run their power bill up. I couldn't even afford to turn the lights on in that. Place. Right. <laughs> I'd have to save all that money up for the property taxes every yeah. year. And my property taxes go up every year. Ours you know make a huge jump. If, 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 you're, if you're, what gets me is if you're on a fixed income and your income only goes up so much, it's only a matter of time before you can't afford your property taxes anymore and they take your house from you. Yep. So it seems like a scam to me. Because you're not going to be getting any raises once you really retire and stuff. I mean, little minuscule ones. But if your property tax goes up like a bunch, they're going to tax you right out of your house. They're doing that in Chicago, actually, right now. There was something on the ballot, I think I heard yesterday, that was going to raise property taxes. California's and, and, trying to raise theirs again, too. And they were like, oh, it's only on houses over a million dollars are going to be affected. <laughs> Everybody else is going to drop a little bit. But there are so many people that the value of their home that they've lived in for 30, 40 years is, is now, now over, over a million, million dollars. And it wasn't when, you know, yeah. And I you're know. talking about, they were showing some rough numbers and you were talking about it going from like $1,400 a year or no, $1,700 a year to almost 40 grand. See that, that's ridiculous. What's that? And old... these people don't even have a house payment because they paid their house off and they're still going to lose their house just because of the property taxes. That's, that's so, it seems so unfair. <sighs> Hey, Joe Day. Jody's back in here. She says, Bobby Kitten. What's up, Bobby Kitten? 
you're right, James. Yeah, no, I'm telling you that that stuff they they kill me with that. How they could go and then they want to they want to raise the value of your house all the time, but then when the housing goes down, they don't, they don't lower the value down. of your house back down. Uh. They keep you at where you were. I mean, that seems like a, a, a rip off right there. I, I'm telling you, it's just they're just scamming. They're gonna get every penny they can out of you. If they were half as creative about with the way they are making taxes with some things to help us out. See, I actually, I've tried to drag this. Uh, there's a lot of stuff it's here. it's way bad right back there at the mouth of yeah, the there's a Yeah, that's why the fish are in here, because there's a lot of debris down there. Yeah. Yeah, I was snagging this about every other minute. I hate it when you got six lines out, you got to bring you either just break that off and bite the bullet, or you... You gotta reel everything back in and go back, and I can you can usually get it unhooked. But the only time I really worry about going back is if uh, my planer board comes off. Yep. But it, on the tournaments where we're only see, this is gonna be rough right here. Yep, because it's hitting right at that corner. Yep. But the uh, it's worse with wake boats. Yep. Oh god, I love them wake boats. Boy, they're really fire. Up the farm. There, huh? yeah, I don't know if there's a shooting range. Gotta be some there. sort of range. I mean, we're Although I could do that at my house. Place. I could shoot all day at my house. Nobody's gonna say anything. Yeah, we're not near Prentice. So. Yeah, I really thought we'd get a bike quicker than this with everything I saw down there. Yeah. Yeah, we're at 13, so I said four after. We got about another five minutes, and then I'll be a liner. Brian Bro. Oh, bro there he is. Brian. Oh, B. Bob. Catfishing. Bob came in here. The return of Bob. Yo, Cannot yo, Wars. listening and driving. Hello, fart sniffers. Hey, Bob, welcome in. You just need dragging sinkers there. I uh, have dragging sinkers. I'm gonna be like the old west. Get the sh get the sheets and animal skins out and make the clone. Yep. Yeah, the sun's gonna the sun's gonna wipe out our power grid anyway here in the next three to five years. So we'll be you'll you'll need to be breaking out all that old school hunting and fishing and growing your own. Bob, are you going to get rain Saturday? They were saying, but I guess it's looking like we're not going to get as much as they were saying, but it's supposed to be really windy. Oh, you've been making fun of me? Go up and read. Awesome. Let's see. How far back? John's always John's always in drag. It's just like Ryan Hall's new video. I, I listen to Ryan Hall all the time. He's good, good guy, good weather guy. Brian B., I wish you had to smell one of James's farts, especially when he... Crops dust Costco. <laughs> I wasn't ignoring you, Bob. Why are you ignoring me, John? John, John, John. They forgot about us, Bob. John's always in drag. We can say anything we want. Hey, John. <laughs> John's favorite song is It's Raining Men. Uh, actually, it's comfortably numb. But anyway. Yeah, just talk, James. We ain't here. That's perfect, Bob. Watching Richard Zizzles. He, 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 he laughs. Oh, the sky is falling. Yeah, the sun's going to take out the power grid. You'll see. It's a 12,000 yeah, 12, 12, year cycle. I'm still new at this this uh, live stuff. So you I go like this. Let me, let me ask you this. You guys occasionally. So Sorry. it's the North Pole where the North Pole used to be? North Pole's moved hundreds of miles you can tell it's moved because the sun i'm telling the you, sun man. goes over my house in a completely different position in the summertime than it did when i first moved there seven years ago yeah i'm telling you it's coming so there has been movement and it's not even the sun that's it's not really the sun's fault it's the earth magnetic magnetic field's gonna flip and when it flips then we ain't got no protection from the sun and that's when the sun's gonna get us but it's okay, y'all. 
before the world We're still ends, out here I need fishing. Bobby, Bobby <laughs> says he needs baby before the world ends. Oh, he left mine. Okay. Yeah, he said he wasn't. You know, he said you don't read. You nobody responds over on yours. King Floyd can't go wrong yet. No. Nope. Yep. ACDC is my group. I like ACDC. It's, it's a long way to the top. Long rock. rock. Ah, uh, come on, fish. Well, I'm a liar. Sixteen after. Yeah, for sizzle. It's gonna get so bad. Polar bears are moving into the Smoky Mountains. Jody, 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 Jody. The northern lights are caused by solar flares, which is correct. And the lights are atmosphere breaking it up. Correct. Our magnetic field protecting us from those shots from the sun. But if you haven't noticed, the northern lights are now seen as far south as New Mexico and Tennessee. And that's because our magnetic field is getting weaker. And it's not fighting that stuff off like it used to. But it's all okay. You got, well, I'll we'll see. Stand three, saw a video. Yep. And we're just going to be out here fishing during it all. Nah, it's not. It, 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 it. If the world ends, the world ain't going to end. Just a lot of people will end. I'll have to start raising my own chickens for bait. Yeah, there you go. We got five people in. I'm gonna say hi to you since I'm ignoring you. I mean, I'm a believer in all that stuff, and I still don't prep like I should. I mean, I have some a little bit of stuff set aside, but nothing to nothing to survive if the power grid went out and not coming back up for years. If you use chicken for bait, the world needs to end. I'm with you, Bob. <laughs> Last time I looked, I, mean, I didn't see any be, chickens swimming around out we're here. We're all going to be using chicken in a couple months. I, I, fish. I, I don't use chicken. I mean, you're not going to fish the chicken tournament then? No. Because it's chicken, chicken only. I'm not fishing the chicken tournament. I'm not. That's a Jody tournament there. Yeah. Little hooks, dink, dinking, them, dinking them to death. Should put 100 fish in the boat. And that's what it is. It's a numbers tournament. That way we can foods. Yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, you look at it like this. It doesn't hurt to do all that stuff. What's it going to hurt if you have some stuff set aside just in case? But then again, if you are a prepper, you need to at least have a lot of guns and ammunition. Otherwise, you're just prepping for somebody else. It's going to come by and take Thank all you. your stuff. Yep. It ain't going to be pretty. It's like I got a daughter out in San Diego. They don't even have a water supply. Power goes out there, they got no water. And there's so many people, never make it. Nah, I like chicken for channel rats. Yeah, I, I try I try to stay away from the Chanel cats. Yeah, definitely my least favorite thing to catch. Dark side of the moon. I actually saw, I don't know if you guys have heard of them. I mean, but there's a, um, a tribute band called Brit Floyd. Last year, my wife took me to the 50-year anniversary of Dark Side, and man, let me tell you, that was it was amazing. And they're coming back this year. They've got a 38th <laughs> anniversary of uh, another Floyd album from the 90s. I can't wait for next year when they do. Um, oh, what's the name of that album? Wish You Were Here. That'll be the 50. Next year will be 50 years of Wish You Were Here since that album came out. And that's one I just can't wait to go to. Look at listen to this comment by Jody. Yeah, he thinks he's stocking up and storing stuff, but he keeps it in the spare bedroom that I sleep in. I've been eating good. <laughs> <laughs> she gets those midnight snacks. Yeah. Oh, come on, fish. Don't just give James one. Hey, catfish fish Ed in the house. What's up, Ed? Double hook angling popping in. Thank you, Double Hook. Everybody saying hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'm good on guns and ammo. Yeah, I think I got it covered. I hunt and grow more food than I do. Yeah, I, I, I'm putting down a good garden this year. I didn't have a very, I had just a couple like tomato plants and stuff last year, but I'm going to try to grow some stuff and 
can some stuff this year. That's my goal this year is to do some of that. But I lost all my guns in a boating accident. Yeah, well, I, of course, that's I don't have any guns. I don't have any guns you. anymore. <laughs> but I was prepared until that boating accident. Yeah. And I would never have any unregistered guns. You're in that you know, that's not going to happen. Hole outside Raccoon Mountain. Yep. I was at Watts Bar. A thunderstorm kicked up. Thought it thought the boat was going to sink. Had to throw away everything heavy. Danny, 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 who? Danny, Danny, Danny. Did I see? Danny Stone not Outdoors. Danny Stone. Oh, now, God, now, now the it's fish a, are going to yep, bite. Let's go fish. Danny's here. Wait, chicken tournament. Is that a numbers game? That I'm changes sure. everything. Yeah, I won't be in that one. I'm not going to be in the fish somebody else's waters. I'm not going to be in the bumping one. I'm not doing, uh, what was the other one? Uno, Wheel of Fortune. No, I, that's fine. That's a, that's a gimme. I mean, you could you could win that and not even catch a fish. So you got to be in that. No. <laughs> yeah. Nope. You don't even have to catch a fish. You could win that's it. That's not the one I'm not going to do. <laughs> No, what's, 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 what's the other one I wasn't going to do? They have a oh a dragon tournament. I'm probably not going to do that one either. Oh, of course I'm doing that one. Uh, why? So you never Bob catch any fish? Up. Really? Dragging? Do I you? Never catch... <laughs> oh, well, I guess summertime's your time. Spring, sur... spring, so, summer, so, and fall. So, so what? You, you, know, you know how to I'm, fish I'm, like I'm three screwed. months out of the year? No. <laughs> I can fish like nine months out of the year. There's about three months that I just struggle. Nah. January, you'll, you'll you'll get it all down. January, February, and March have been a struggle. Danny Stone. I'm out here trying to get that fish, Danny, so you can start catching again. If I get walking better, I'll have a garden. Yeah, I hear Stan, you. Dan, I saw one of the cover bands with the light show. Yeah, a lot of them they do the light show for um, uh, the wall. Yeah, the earthquake sucked all my ammunition down in a hole in the ground. There we go, Lance, the cool guy. Hawaiian fisherman's in the house. Hello, Hawaii. Aloha. My gun probably due. Yeah, Jody's gun's probably due for a cleaning. Yeah, probably since last time she brought it over, the ammunition was green in it. No, I'm serious. I, I bet that gun wouldn't, wouldn't even a shock. Jeez, nothing like proper maintenance. Yeah, that sucked, James. Mine were in the boat, too. Y'all notice he skipped the comment where I said he owes me a 90 pound. I, I didn't see it, Danny. I'm sorry. I, I would never skip one of your comments. You're my brother from uh, that other mother. Danny boy. Danny, you're the whole reason we do lives. Why I do you not read your channel? It's the only reason we're up. We don't care about nobody else. Yeah. Danny's a man, Danny Stone, Danny Stone. Hey there, Joe Tate girl. You right, missed my question, too. What was your question, minutes. Jody? Yeah, we're ready to move to the uh, hot water outlet. Fresh bait. Yep, fresh bait, hot water outlet. Sweet, you fishing tomorrow, or will or will you be at the shop, Bob? It's you want to go bumping tomorrow. tonight, Ed? Yeah, be your last night because they're dropping the current down. And there'll be no bald Bobby bumping or bumping Bobby bald or, yeah, whatever. So bald like that. bumping cat. <laughs> yeah. I'm still cracking up when they were talking about the catfish conference. They go, Yeah, did you go to that crappy catfish conference? <laughs> no, you got to put crappy after the. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Nope. He let go. You're too slow. He'll come back. He'll come back. Just when we were talking about leaving. He's going to come back. You watch. That's, that's a second fish John's missed today. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He wasn't on there anyway. Got those rubber hooks on that rock. Try to give him a fighting chance. You know, I, I learned this from Joe Biden. If you whisper and then you yeah. hear him. It, it, it gets your point across better. <laughs> I'm telling you, folks. That was a bite on that, that one rod right there. John was up like a cat. Just, pew, just fast. Faster than me, Swing anyway. Swing and a miss. Yep, and he wasn't there. What's up, the Zazzles? 
says, you shut your mouth, James. Now I'm telling you, Bob, you go look at the thing, the schedule. They're, they're dropping the current down. I paid them big money to drop that current down for Saturday so you can't go bumping. <laughs> yeah, when we have a tournament and nobody's catching fish. Maybe we need to have time, um, races to the rods. Races to the rods. Your rods are racist? Is that what you said? I want to check my, make sure I'm not ignoring nobody in my chat. Is there anybody still in your I chat? I think there's there? like one. I'm Five. Back, I'm, I'm back up to almost 30. And that's because Stan's in both. Just, I got to go back and see you because they said I didn't read her, her her comment. You all notice he skipped. I got to go back up and find Danny's comment. <laughs> earthquake, earthquake eight. My God, that sounded like a cougar or something. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I've got a... Somebody made a comment? Quick. No, I've got a... My daughter. Oh. Text me. I see what's up. Yep, better see what's up. Man, I'm going way back, Danny. I oh, there it is. Lunch break. You you owe me a 90-pounder. I know, Danny. I know. And I, what was Jody's question? Are you going to go fishing with me tonight? Uh, I think I... There it is. I said my mic lost connection. Hopefully you guys can hear me again. Yeah, it said my mic lost connection. And I'm pretty relaxed, Jeff. I'm pretty much laid back. Oh. 63 seconds, fish. Let's go. Yep. And then all your free food's gone. I can't believe that one guy just won little never one. Probably a Chanel. And then Chanel. You know, when cats. I got up there, it was a little bouncy. Little, Normally, little, I don't know. Little bounce. It's kind of what I've noticed with, with Channel Catch. You get a weird little bounce on the tip. You know what they do is they grab, they grab the bait and then they like jerk and twist, yeah, tearing pieces off it because they can't get that much in their mouth. That's why you get that bounce with it. Bounce with it, baby. Of course, you have to play it off. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Gonna put you on the TV. Have to call the lovely V. Oh, well, there's two hours on hold just to have somebody finally answer and just hang right up on you. So you got to go back into the queue. Sit there for a half hour, 45 minutes on hold. And then you hear it, hear it finally click over and it's click, 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 click. I just hang oh, my God, that sets me off. Double hook angling. Jeff, do you normally make the fish pay for food, James? Do they carry a visa? Yeah, they're paying. They're paying for food. Yeah, they pay by getting their picture taken. Yep. 
and getting us to hold. Everything's them. give and take, Stan. Everything's give and take. Double your stick hasn't arrived yet. Oh, double your st your stick has not arrived yet. Jody says she needs bait. Yeah, so you could sell it. I think I am going fishing. Double hook angling's going fishing. Well, good luck. Tell the fish to beware. Mm. All right, we're moving. Yep. Time to reel in, folks. I got to set you down. Okay. Now I got to dig out my charger. Charger. What do you have, Android or iPhone? Ah, uh, Android. I might have a C type. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, I brought, I brought, I brought my stuff. Well, I have a I keep a C type for my GoPro. You know? Is it GoPro? Yep. Yeah. What do you got, Apple? Of course you do. Yeah, Mister Mister Electronic, Mister Technical, Mister and Mister Mister. Dude, I used to only be Android, and then I'm not learning a whole new thing. Apple came out. Well, it started Apple because of working in cell phones. Yeah, my kid drank the juice, and he's all Apple now, and he's all uh, weird. And... But I stopped with Apple because I wanted the availability to be able to make ringtones and do cool stuff like that, like you could do on Android. You can't do ringtones on Apple. You can now, but the issue was. Hey, tell me that wasn't a Chanel cat. Oh, that was definitely a Chanel. <laughs> the grab and tear. You say you guys pull the bait off and leave it out. Oh. I guess we are going to change it up. Yeah, it's time for fresh. Refreshing enough. And I hate that you throw the bait in, you watch some fish swim up before it even gets out of sight and gobble it up. I go old school. I, I, I you don't use floats on your stuff? Well, if I'm dragging. But if I'm not dragging now, I figure I'm old school. I'm just like bait, the weight, the hook. I change it up. Stuff. Too much stuff. And honestly, I, 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 I've i done a ran rods with like the floats and stuff. <laughs> that bait's going right in the drift stop. Perfect. No, it missed it. <laughs> I run, I run, I've ran with and without, and I've never noticed any difference. Although the one time I did notice a difference was when we fished that uh, the winter blues, all the flatheads we caught were on floats. Yeah, on Daryl's floats. Flat the flatheads like to, they want that bait up off the bottom because their eyes are on the top of their head. Yeah. So they're always looking up. So if your bait's up, you'll get them. Where that's the only time I've noticed that floats really work good. Jeff, I will just send another one. I think I'm going fishing, Jeff. Cool. If I receive two of them, I'll give one away. All right. We're getting ready to make that move, folks. All right. Getting ready to get loud. Yep. And I'm Someone actually going to mute my...
So got two of you. Thanks, guys. Now, sometimes when you move, you lose folks. In a little while, I'm going to uh, turn mine off and I'll have to watch on here. I'm just going to get a little better position. All right. Hold on. Give me and here, I use it ready to go up. I'm getting ready to go up. Do what now? I use it just to spend when I'm here. Oh, there's so many horses and the fish behind us. Look at that. This dude, he's battling it out. See him? Yep. You got some good bend in that rod. There it is. Let's see what he's got. It looks like a little tiny channel cat. <laughs> Hey, but it's a fish. All right, give me one sec. You already cut up all the one. Did you did you uh, set up anything fresh, or is that what? Well, I, I just still skip back there. You need uh, some more shad, daddy. All right, I just anchored. We're pretty much right at the top. Good. That's why I say you just suspend fish here. See, I've never been any good suspending. Well, that's all about the change. Nice and deep here, too. Yeah, there's still some shad out here. There's some skip here. Well, that's what I said. I mean, I'll be kind of. Play bar. You can cast, you can suspend, doesn't matter. Well, I mean, I figure we'll suspend off the side and still cast a couple back. Yeah, there you go. Just land. I mean, I can adjust those rod holders to nope. where I could. It's gold. It's gold. with an 8,000 pound boat, yeah. you kind of need, what's the max motor you put on this? this? Yeah, I would think you'd be able to go 250. It says 225 on the safety thing. That's, you may have to add um, flow pods on the back if you're trying to go 250. Oh yeah, because you're going to sink the back down now. Yeah. But I didn't even think about the weight, actually. I'm just thinking about the thrust on the... About the old thrust on the I'll put you some shit. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, the good thing about the Akuma reels, they definitely hold some line. You can be in deep water and still cast way out. That and uh, dragging. Yeah. Because, like you said, you know, sometimes my dragon lines are through the dam. down so hard that you're not going to break your line to where on, yeah. the, on the other ones you can crank down your line so hard that you'll break it jody she likes to horse them fishing she don't want them getting off so she's trying to get them in the boat but i mean she'd be like hunkering down on if you're back in here. So 
So where'd you get the freeze dried Skittles from? Since you're just in front for the, you had to go to go to some candy store and get them. Well, I mean, it does say North Georgia Candy Company on them, so you can take that how you will, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to at least make it look somewhat realistic. <laughs> hey, Jody, are you looking? There's your pontoon boat right there. It's got a uh, full enclosure on it. It's one of the shorter boats, not real big. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, but if she has a full enclosure, she can't fish 1,200 rods. Uh, she'd manage. She'll <laughs> double them up or something. Got to waste all the bait you can, you know. <laughs> Burrito Cat. Danny. Jeff. D-A-H. Doggin Outdoors is in here now. Oh, dog, 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 and one outdoors. Sorry, it's Bobby's Curtis. complaining about something. I have some P320 GTI that are huge reels. Oh, pen. She said she's making sour skittles right now. Ooh, that sounds good too. You too, Dave. Enjoy fishing. Double hook. Y'all be blessed. Hope we gonna be that is the spot. snow cone pontoon boat. Yeah, could be. And Don Johnson has left you to come over here. Oh, no, that was Don R. You had, right? Don Long. Don Long. Don Long. Afternoon, all. Afternoon. We're getting weight washed. Weight washed. Wee. Kind of yeah. anchored the nose into the wind here. Yeah. I wonder if I need to put a sock out. Yeah, we seem to be holding the same direction. Rally. See, that's the best time for a fish to hit because I ain't getting up. Yeah. 39. I got 28 people watching. Nice, nice. I think I have two. You said you got a cord? Three. You got a cord, man? Uh, yeah, actually, I think the cord I brought. I think the cord I brought is only going to work on a. It's like a C to C. And my battery pack, he's got to have the USB type plug. I think I, you know what? I might have two. I might have two. Switch card. Two cords in mine. Oh, never mind. I got it. I got it. I got it. I brought my cigarette lighter thing, so that's going to work. Let me plug it. We got any fish yet? Why haven't we got a fish yet? Should be any second. So this one at the bottom is a cigarette. Yep. But it's not a rapid. It doesn't have to be a rapid. A rabbit? Yeah, I installed, I put a bunch of those USB things in my boat. I put them all around. Oh boy, I got everybody get everybody seasick. Burrito catfish and light says, we ordered new rods now. Then I'm going to find a reel that is good, but don't look like crap with it. I'm not really too concerned about the looks of my stuff, though, you know, just as long as it works. But that's just me. I mean, we all like the looks of the Mad Cat rods. They tend to work very well. Yeah, I like it. Well, that, yeah, you get you get in that weekly thing if you win yeah. some money. So they're going to pay me. Heck, yeah. Jody's in the hunt this week. It'd be interesting to see if she can make another day and a half. That'd be awesome. Wait for one of these suspend rods to touch the water. If it touches the water in my boat, it's yep. serious. <laughs> Oh, well, I tell you, this is nice. You get the, you get the breeze through here. Even on a hot day, it's probably okay under here, huh? I like the hard top. So it's not too bad. I've actually, so there's snaps on the sides. Yep. I actually took a sunscreen from Costco and cut it down and added snaps. So that's good though. Because Dana burns really easy. So if she needs to hang, yeah, down on that side, it keeps the sun off of her. That's good. And then we added fans. Because, you know, if you get a breeze like we have now, you're not really feeling it below this glass. Yeah. I go, I got, I run my generator and run a big house fan. Wow. That does, that helps a lot with the bugs at night, too. We've got a couple of those contractor fans. 
three charger ones. Yeah, now I got a big ass, big old house fan. If you fire the generator up, I put it up front and then close the door so you can't really hear it. It's a pretty quiet generator anyway. It says, did Catfish Hunters TV lure you on his boat with candy, James? There's there's a there's been a promise of candy, but I, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it was left in the truck. Conveniently. To, to, no, com it is. to <laughs> complete his his what would you call it? His cover? Yeah. <laughs> to, I was thinking they got a fancy word for that though. To complete the appearance of his ah. cat candy company. He had to go online and buy some freeze-dried Skittles from somebody, and then he's, he re, he rebagged it into his, yeah. his style bag. Come on. Fish, right? Yeah, lots of fish. I told you. But... Probably sturgeon. <laughs> hey, I'll take one of those if they want to buy it. I'm definitely never caught one of those. I got one. In my favorite place, not the fish, too. Jody drug me out to Kingston, and I got a sturgeon. That ain't too bad. A sturgeon. I was actually thinking of when I come out here catfish and just have one rod with a treble hook on it and put li um, night crawlers on it and throw it out because I hear night crawlers. Uh, we we, we went back. We went eat. back and there was a bunch. We marked a bunch of them again. I, at least the ones we think were them. And uh, we ran a whole bunch of worms on them and we didn't get nothing. Got my fingers in the picture. I know I got my fingers in the picture. Be quiet. I'll turn the camera over. That way my fingers won't be in the picture. I'll put them on this side. <laughs> Any suggestions on a smaller one? Smaller reel? Uh, those, I guess the small ones, the PC funds, they're they're reasonably priced, I guess. People like them. The chaos, yeah. The, the PC chaoses. chaos ones. It's one on that reel, that green rod back there. So that's a 60 on the green rod. And then on my wife's rod, she has two 50s and the Abu 6000. I got 6500s? My, my, yeah, it might have been 65. Yeah, they're 65. I got Brandon. Yeah, I, I like those. She does too. When he came out fishing, although, with they, us, although they don't hold a whole lot of line. Nope. You got to use. I use 40. You got to use braid. Nah, I'm not using braid. Braid. You know why I don't use braid? Not because it, it if you drag rocks, it'll, it'll break. Is, is I don't use braid because it tangles up so dang bad. This child, man. I don't know. What child's that? You're Mine. Saying? What's the matter? She keeps texting me when I'm fishing. How old is she? 21. Thanks, James. What did I do, Jody? All right, I'm back. I love the Mad Cat reels. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a, becoming a bigger fan of the Mad Cat reels because they hold more line than sixty than the Abus do. They got pretty good drag on them. They got the power handle. They cast really good. I've caught a couple fish on them. I've after caught any monsters, after yeah. I see somebody catch a 60, 70 pound flathead, yeah, I, then I'll I'll look harder because yeah, well, I just want to see how they hold up too. I want to catch like five or six real big fish and see yeah, how they burn the drag out on them. Fish. Yep. We're stand three. I want to complain about all the people out here fishing. There's one, two, three, four, two five, five, up. five boats within a hundred yards of us. You just can't get away from them here. No. I was out, out there on the Mighty James five days. Never saw another boat. Only people out there that fish are the stands. In Austin, that's it. Ooh, there you go. Kind of weird that that boat has its seat in the back. It's not it really a fishing out. boat. It's got a trolling motor Motor on it. Yeah, too. let's yeah. talk about turning a ski boat into a fishing boat. But that's probably where the uh, pole goes for the towing the skier. And they put a chair in it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I can't do the bass boat. They got to fall out sooner or later. But yeah, it, it aggravates me when those wobble back and forth. <laughs> like I said, I would have just wrapped duct tape around them and then to where it got like it was a tighter fit and then crammed them in there. 
but that doesn't change anything on the left and right with the rocking of the boat because I had I had try I had tested that. If it fit but in there still, tight enough, it would, would really. It still has a slight wobble from the weight of a rods and stuff. Wow. I don't know. I mean, you, you can deal with it. But sorry. Hey, take down rod holders. I'm look, or I mean, multi bars. I'm looking for a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Get those egg, get the angle ones like I got four. From, uh, hey, all four of you, welcome in. You go with the monster. They got the, the triangle ones that go in the back that I got on mine. That'd be perfect for yours. The One of the reasons I was re realistically looking at them is because apparently it's a bolt you pull out and the entire thing comes off the base. And then you have your flat surface. So if I'm... Okay, I got you. Because we do have... <laughs> we do have some tow behinds and you know stuff like that for when the kids are wanting to go out and stuff but i mean we do mainly fish we don't do a lot of pleasure in like that but that was one of the reasons i had originally looked at them yeah they're expensive though yeah 450 shit yeah <laughs> and that's 450 each one right no that's for a pair oh okay people. is that for a pair and then it can hold four, up to four rod holders yeah. on it. My buddy's got got those on his boat. Super adjustable. I mean, angle up, down, right, left, tilt, you know. But yeah, originally those were, these were in these. Okay. Which are 90s. These are 45s. So in the 90s, I didn't have that rocking issue. It yeah, but, but then they're straight up and down. Well, I mean, this is adjustable, but I needed to move over because I wanted to add two more rod holders. Okay, Jody. I got you. Well, but if you look, this is really all I have is these couple here that Come I've on, had to add. Eight rods is enough. Well, I plan on Dragon 7 this year. And just having those six was Dragon 6. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So I put those down so I could figure out where I want my seven to be. What's that in the water back there? Swimming, something's in there. In the water? 20 yards behind the boat, maybe? Looks like, kind of, if, from my angle, looking straight off the green pole, about yeah, 20 I'm, yards out. I'm looking right behind the green pole. I don't see anything. No, I, I just see ripples in the water. And... Yeah, but it just looks like the, the, there's one spot that has, like, something was sitting there. I don't know. Just me. Maybe it's one of those diving ducks. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I usually do good when the ducks come when the ducks are coming around. Oh, I should be reading chat, huh? Yeah, speak to Don me. Johnson. The sizzle. Heck yeah, Jody. Heck yeah, Jody. What? I, I, love, I love my Mad Cats real. Heck yeah, Jody. Uh, Don the sizzle. That's crazy. That. And that many people out during the week. I know. Tell me about it. I've seen it worse out here. I know, but this is like a Thursday, not a Friday. It's Thursday midday. And there's probably there's probably been a dozen boats out here. And the power plant's not even on, so there's no hot water. No change. What was I out last Wednesday, I think? There's a ton of boats out. I'm shocked I don't see as many pleasure boaters out here. Yeah, it's all business. They're all out here. It's all you another get, fisherman. You get the uh, the old couple who comes out and just drives their boat from one dam to the other and then goes home. Yeah. Well, you ain't. it's not really the weather ain't been that great like this. Like If you get a few more days like today. We were like that in the middle of winter time. <laughs> Dana and I were out. They had all their enclosures down, and they were still trooping up and down the river. Yep, and get of out. course, being who winter wants to sit time, in the house all the time. trying to fish the deep water, and that's where they're at, of course. Who wants to sit in the house all the time? Not me. Come on, fish, get right, yeah, here. Let's go. go, Big Blue. Come on. Thanks for the info. I'll look into those reels. Either that or an Abu 6500, but they get expensive. Yeah, they do. Well, I mean, they make they make different levels of them, so you could get some of them for like 70, 80 bucks. But 
they're not as good as the other ones. And they got some that are like 125. Then they got some that are like 250. So I know what the deal of that is. Yeah, you could have the suspended rods. You, getting tough. you could lead the bait to water, or you could put the bait in water, but then I gotta make the fish yeah, you bite. can't make the fish bite. That's right, because I mean, and there's we're marking all sorts of fish. It's those floats got the got the got the bait too high up off the water. I mean, it's, no, I mean, the marks are running oh, about seven eight foot off the yep. bottom, so yeah, you would think that could be your carp, that could be your your sturgeon that could be your what else that hangs out in the bottom and sometimes you get bass hanging out low this is bigger than bass though yeah here fishy 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 what you got to do the here kitty kitty that Jeff Beal I think I'm James not possible. I can't do it the way he does. used to be a beer commercial at one point in his life. I used to be a beer commercial. I do beer commercials. Be about well, being a beer commercial. Sure, you can pay me to be in a beer commercial. I would do the bitter Wait, bitter you beer. Wait, the phase. announcer in the real real minute. Real men. Yeah, the real genius. real men. We salute you, Mr. Catfisherman. Fisherman, yep. <laughs> Sitting in the hot sun catching and nothing. Baking all day long. Spending more time catching bait than you do catfish. Here's to you. <laughs> yeah, that's no doubt either. <laughs> yeah, real men of genius. Well, we're gonna be a real men of genius and be out of here. Yeah, minute. I yep. ain't had a bite yet. We're ready. We're ready for the drag. All right, you got about four more minutes. Yep. What's my favorite? The old commercial, the bitter beer face, Keystone. Comes in a can or come, tastes like it's in a bottle, but comes in a can. Yeah, that guy that could make all those weird faces. Yeah. Bitter beer. There it is. Now it's a day. Rebel River Cats is in the house. What's up, Rebel? I like taco salad inventor guy. Taco salad inventor guy. <laughs> or wait, were you one of the Budweiser frogs? Yeah. <laughs> Bud. Wise. Back when Budweiser was good. I don't know, man. I can never get into the beer. Well, I could get I anything with alcohol in it I could get into. I was, I was the liquor guy. I'm a vodka cranberry guy. Vodka OJ if it's going to be vodka. And then I could do... Uh, I like tequila. The, el the elf piss. You never seen that elf piss? It's a fireball. Oh no! I, don't I seen on online. It had a little picture of an elf, and he was peeing into a uh, listen fireball bottle. Me, Jack, and Jim had a fight when I was in the Navy, and, and we Jim. don't talk anymore. Okay, you know who I don't talk. They to? are not allowed to come to my house. <laughs> they are not allowed to message me. Jack and Jim to this are day. To this day, Jack Daniels. If I smell it, my hair stands up on my yes. arms. Yes. I drank a fifth of Jack Daniels in forty-five minutes on my sixteenth birthday. I was I was thrown up in the shower for two days. They should have took me to the hospital. I probably almost died. And to this day, if I that and I was 16 years old, to this day, if I even smell Jack Daniels, yeah, my body starts to freak out. Yeah, I can't smell most whiskeys. It, it's like that. I'm not, I, yeah, I, my, I don't like the Browns. I, I'm the I'm the clear guy. When I was in my 20s, it was all about the whiskey. I could still drink tequila though, and I've gotten sick off tequila oh, once or twice. <laughs> Dana's like that. She hates tequila. Even the smell of it. She's and I don't I'm not talking like I drink salsa. Now I'm not drinking Don Julio 1942, okay? Because I'm really not a money launderer. But <laughs> nothing like you know, dragon looking for active catfish, says North Three uh Northern View Outdoors. Trace Generations makes a really nice smooth tequila that's reasonably priced. And then of course I drink a a lot of coffee with my Baileys. I add a little coffee into the Baileys just to make it. Now, I okay, you talk coffee. You know what a white Russian is. Yeah. Instead of using cream to make it a white Russian, I, I've used white chocolate liqueur. <coughs> Good. Pass punch. Yeah. 
so you have the white chocolate and the coffee, and it's it's. A hot Jody doesn't drink at all. She smelled one of my drinks one time and got all goofy and was falling around the house and stuff. But yeah, and I, it's probably a good thing that she don't. Dana she don't likes drink. Dana likes Sailor Jerry, which I guess why she likes me. <laughs> I don't like Sailor Jerry at all as a, a spiced rum, personally. Like I said, I could do all the. I could do rum, tequila. I could do vodka. You could do even gin. I could do a little gin. But when you start getting into Hennessy and Jack Daniels and what's the one my brother used to drink that rod cut stuff of uh, smooth as silk. Uh, God, what was that? Oh, wow. Began with a K. Oh, I can't even think of it now. It's horrible. Now, Kessler's, remember, Kessler's, uh, smooth as silk. Yeah, my eye. Now, I remember being young and drinking uh, Mad Dog 2020. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mad Dog 2020. Of course, the, the, the nice wine that has a vapor come off of it. <laughs> that you could uh, remove paint from your car. Yeah, the other thing that I don't no longer drink is I will not drink any alcohol that will sustain a flame. Because if, it, if you can put a lighter to it and it burns and it's fuel, it's not something to drink. Uh, oh, you're up. Uh, 151s and your oh. Everclear and that was the other thing I drank a lot of in the military. We used to go to this bar and it was I forget what it was called, but it was called a Royal something. It was a shot, but it was Rumplemints, peppermint schnapps, oh, yeah. Goldschlager, yeah. and floated with 151. Yeah, oh. uh, yeah. yeah I was a, I was a lot a of guys burn off the, their mustaches trying to do them flaming I was shots. Drinker and a drinker in the Navy. I don't drink too much anymore. I, I, I didn't drink for a long, long time, but now I drink a lot, but I just think it's because I'm in so much pain all the time. I definitely get that. All right, James. All right, we're this moving. Is, this is... We are moving. I don't care what you guys say. We're going to move right now. That's pointless. it. Because uh, we're not... There's lots of fish here, but they're not eating, so we we're going to go, go try to... You know, we can go drag Chester Frost. I've dragged Chester Frost before and caught fish. You could go drag this. You could go down the... Yeah, right yeah. there if you want it. I mean, it don't matter. Well, it's easy. you drag against the current. Drag where you want, when you want, how you want, because you're the man. All right, let's uh, and let's go ahead and get rid of the baits. We'll go completely. And we're going completely with new baits again, folks, because we're rich in bait. Because Bobcat don't need no bait. <laughs> man, it, it, you know what the problem is? I'm still telling you, it's too nice of a day. What a Seagate. You reel in three times and the bait's here. Oh, yes. Yes. That, thing's that is my favorite there. reel. Is it? Yes. I had one. I sold it at the, the swap meet this year. Well, you had the non-level one, too. Yeah. Yeah, I've got two of those in my drawer. Um, I like the non-level one. I like them, but at nighttime, it's, it's about impossible to see. I had a 50 big mic out for me to put on one of his huge mad cats. He threw it on there and cast that out. He must have cast like 150 yards easy. <laughs> You've got what, the 12 foot? I think that's what it was. It might have been a 14. That's Danny Stone. He's got that man. He can cast all the way across the river. Uh, go ahead and pull the weights off, dude. Oh, well, now you're talking. Sorry. Well, I'm, I you put him in a cup in one of the cup holders. Well, I figure if I'm going to end up dragging, I'm going to put dragon weights on everything. Well, there you go. I see you're crimping now. I've been crimping. Crimping and pimping? Not a bit. I've been crimping for over a year. Not a bit. Maybe yeah. more than that. I don't know. Crimp down on a line. You think it pinches the line, make a weak spot, but. Everybody seems to be fine with them. Once again, just more, more, more gadget, more stuff you gotta have. I right. Can, just give me a weight, tie a knot, a hook, and some bait. Well, I only ever used big floats. I never used demon dragons because I was always like, I don't want to lose. Yeah, a seven dollar so, demon dragon, a three dollar hook. Yeah, no, I know, I hear you. you. No, know, but 
but I started using them. I could see when you drag, I could see using a using the demon dragons and stuff because then, then it's gonna the rattle might come into play. Here's my favorite since all the kumas. You see that power handle I put on that yep. one? I want to put a power, couple power handles. I got one uh, 6500 that doesn't have that has a real tiny handle on it. I would like to put a power handle on it. Yeah, she likes the tiny. All right, that's got a regular. So I got everybody and their mother's going to be up around my neck of the woods starting today for the King Cat Tournament. Yeah. Up in Kingston. All right. Well, three of you in here, we're going to move. I'm going to mute. Um, we're going to make a semi-long run. We're going to go back into Chester Frost and drag. We're going to go drag Chester around.
All right, so I still have my motor on, but we're coming back here into Chester Frost, and we're going to uh, drag out. We're going to drag out. This is where I put Dana on her first, like, 33-pound, I think it was, Blue Cat. That was her PB for the longest time. Gone. Guaranteed fish on his drag, so. Again. You already got the guaranteed fish. You got the person. <laughs> it's a guaranteed on the drag. So you see how it goes back for a ways? Yep. When you get near that big boathouse that's on the right hand yeah, side, you're shallower than that and there's huge trees there. Oh. That's the flat only place I've ever on. ran aground. That's flathead on the big trees. Luckily I was standing on the bow of the yeah, boat. Yeah, closed in place there too. I was standing on the bow of the boat so I managed to see and had Dana stop so we didn't end up going over and catching our motor on. Couldn't even afford to build a boat dock. <laughs> These people have. That's just some nuts. He's turning around. He's looking like a trained professional here. He's getting all set up. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. He's all set up. Oh. Uh, uh, still the lungs, too. I hope you all get a hundo. Yeah, that'd be nice. I got to catch a 90 so Danny can start catching fish again. I'll let him do his little, little uh, shimmy up to the front of the boat. Oh, man. If you want to cut up some bait. Here he goes. You got me cutting bait. You've already put me to work. I swear, this guy like it. Where's your whip? Stop it. Look at that. Turn it off. Okay, we're going. There you go. I'm cutting bait. Knock it off. Wait there. I wish my white mask wasn't all the way at the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Dana's 49 pounder to when that golf one came on. <laughs> now, Joe fishes white bass, catches stuff on a long time. I never catch anything on white bass for some reason. Because my mind, it's a, it's a mind thing. See, I don't catch anything on bluegill. Oh, and I've caught just tons, right? Now, I've caught tons of fish down this area on bluegill. <laughs> Four people in here, thank you, thank you. Getting uh, set up, kind of getting lined up, and then I'm going to start getting everything out. I'm trying to play with the wind right now. Can I tell you how much I love the weather, man? Light and variable. Yeah. Light and variable no, definitely no. seems like 10 to 20. No, no wind today.
Shad at. Uh, at the dam? Rolling Yep. Yep, yep. A lot of people there? Nope. You just throw it, don't let it hit the bottom? Oh, yeah. I mean, there are certain spots that I know to throw at just because I've, I've fished it for a while now. Jesus, wind. Let me get a sock out real quick because it's hard to just even get in the right motion to start going. I did. I, I'm dealing with the wind right now. He's dealing with the wind right now. You feel it? Yeah. Oh, that it's coming from good. that way. Well, it's strong considering we're not going to have any wind today. God stab the motor straight. It actually makes a difference. Oh, it's a huge difference. I know. I always forget and I'm all going, why, why am I going so cockeyed? All right, if you want to uh, sit down, I will start. To oh, he's, 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 got it. he's got it. I'm getting, let me get out of the man's way. He's making it happen. Yeah, I, 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 I can put it out. So. He, he's got to put it out a certain form. You got no problem. I never used planner boards before. I end did. stream. I don't want to end stream. Holy cow, there's John. <laughs> Don't scare him out now. Uh-oh, Austin. I see Austin's and Brian Ward's in here. Let me go back. Austin's in here, Fish and Fever. Mr. Rogers is in here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Don't worry. I will put you on some fish tonight. We're going to Kingston. Yeah, I'll be in uh, Knoxville probably making a big run, but we'll see. Hi, Mr. Rogers. It's bound to happen. Hello, Jody Bryan. We caught a 30-pound catfish in there yesterday, right on. We went and got lunch. Permit-headed, crappy fishing in the AM. All right. That's a good fish, Brian. It is a good fish. 30-pound, that's nice. Hey, everybody, listening and driving, or driving and listening. We had a great day yesterday. The best three catfish, 121 pounds. That's a good day right there. 121 pounds for the top three. That's sweet. It'd be nice if I could do that Saturday. That's a great day. Hi, Austin. Don Johnson. Fizzizzle's back. Nice job, Brian. Brian, Jody, we caught eight over 20 pounds. That's sweet. We'll be fighting the wind Saturday for sure. Over 20 pounds. That's a that's a dang good day. John's breaking out the plan planner boards. He's making a plan. I'm going from one side to the other. Get right the other side out. As we're heading into the dock over there in front of us. No. <laughs> We got 124 people in here. Huh. No, I'm kidding. Oh, I know, but got like 24. 24 people. Woohoo! Brian, that's great. That is a great day.
Noah Holland, okay. Jody, you can come up with me and oh, we, you can come bump with me and Fazizzles. Do the bump, baby. Got to be hard to bump in 10K of water there, Bobcat. That was then. Saturday is another story. That's true. You never know. One day's on, one day's off. Jody is probably a natural bouncer. A bumper. No. Shut up, James. That's all good. It is 10K starting tonight. Ten K for Bobby. Yeah, John's starting to get stuff mixed up now. The boat's turning hard the other way. <laughs> that little gust of wind. Your boat's oh, like mine. Time. It's like a sailboat. Every I can't believe you have to fly solo tonight, Jody. She, I'm sure she ain't going to fish solo, so I'm stop. 10K watts. 10K talking current, what they're running through the dam starting tonight or this afternoon. So Bobby can't be bumping. It's okay, Mid-South. I'm used to it. Sniff. Yeah, oh yeah. You fish alone all the time, Jody. Poor little Jody. Oh, he's got a fish load. Yeah. See, she don't have to take into account that I'm fishing all day, and that she's going to want to fish all night. Then I got to drive all over the place Friday, and then I got to fish Friday night until 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, and then get up and be out there Saturday by 9. So, yeah, I get about an hour's worth of sleep on the weekends. Bobcat could still bump. He just needs to use a cinder block as his weight. Yeah, take case, nothing. You can use a split shot. <laughs> Probably free, yeah, free line. He, need, he needs like probably 20, 30, 40 K is probably good. He probably doesn't want much more than 40 K though. I don't know, Brandon was saying they were catching some big ones. At 60? Yeah. 50, 50, 60. Maybe the drag in the bottom of that one's been the bite right in front of him. The rod is straight back. Oh, it's dragging. Almost look like a bite. It's muddy back here, so it could be the weights. You know what I mean? I don't know. But very bitey. You get your shirt cut in the reel. I could bump at 10K. It's just ain't ideal. What's your ideal? 20 to 30 or 20 to 40? Yeah, all night long. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, Bobby. Oh, there it goes. Hey, Bobby. Thirty to forty. Yep, that's what I thought. What's it supposed to be? I think it's 10K starting this afternoon or this evening through the weekend. A new voicemail.
Uh oh. He's, uh, he's almost right, set. We, yeah, until, well, until we make this turn, we are set. Once we get straight, I'll uh, put two more out. All right. I usually just run uh, the four planar boards and then one of the ones two straight off the back. I usually run six. That's how I used to do it. But since Brandon grabbed me two more planar boards at CatCon because I wanted to learn how to run all six on boards and just one out the back. Ah, okay. That's like a lot of work. I mean, when I look back through videos, we get fish on the ones out the back, but most of them come come off the board. Yeah, it's six inches of water. <laughs> it's a big hump in there. So, remember I told you it's got issues? Oh, it's yeah. It's zoomed in. It's oh, okay. totally zoomed in. We're in 12. Okay. Ooh, there's a nice mark. That's what I'm saying. What is that mark? That mark is fish. Oh, okay. It just looks so ginormous in your one display. Bobby Cat. Bobby Bald Cat. At your age, I'm surprised you still bumping them old bones. Can't even read it. Bone bones, tear easy. Nope, I don't fuss. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jody, she never fusses. <laughs> no, not her. Uh -uh. They must never have seen you two on live stream before. <laughs> Problem is, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I just, oh, I just don't do that. Don't I do that without out. telling me. I let line out. Okay, I see it taking off. I'm thinking, uh oh. Uncle Baldy, and you ain't no spring rooster. Bubbles, be nice. Mima will get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've done a factory reset. There's no update to it, but and for you, some reason the middle screen you can't get that done Zoom. I just did, but it'll it'll freak out and start acting like somebody's touching the touch screen again here pretty soon. All right, we're coming around the bend, folks. This is where the magic happens. Jody, after James fishes all day, you should cook him a nice dinner. Yeah, I really don't like that Mid-South guy. Believe me, Mid-South, she would if I, if, if I let her. <laughs> My house is a disaster right now anyway. Is your fish finder on its own battery? Yes. Yes, he says. Excellent idea, Mid-South, yeah. Mm -hmm. My troller motor is independent. Both my depth finders are independent. I mean, they're on the same. Right. Both depth finders are on the same, but. Well, I guess they're not independent. They also have carry the lights. Yeah, that's what I got on mine. I got the lights. I got the lights. My depth finder all run, and my diesel heater all run off the trolling batteries. Because you figure I got three of them. There you go. Holy cow! That's a good takedown right there. Get him, John. That's a that that right there. That's a big fish there. It's a big fish right here, people. People, it's that's big. a big it's big fish. fish. Man, that thing got nailed, though. That's that fish you marked. Yeah. I guess I'm going to have to get the net, I huh? Oh! Oh, John, let him go. Oh, man. That was over 20, though, right? I was on that skipjack head. Yeah, that's, that's got gar on it all day long, yeah. huh? Yeah, it does. Mm. 
man, what's up with that? He needs some, uh, the agony of the feet. That's a big fish, guys. That's a big, big fish. That's what happened. I was making fun of, the, of Daryl. Yeah, and, and the, the fish, fish, and the fish said, gods punished you. Fish god said, okay, here you go. How you like me now? They were a Toby Keith song. Yeah. You can recalibrate your touch screen. I've done Brian that. Ward. He's done that, he says. Yeah, I, I love a good nap myself. That's a big fish. Well, we wouldn't. We don't really know because John was doing the catch and release. But we're supposed to get him up on the boat first. Or sorry, uh, sorry, stream. Sorry, yeah. chat. That's all right. It happens. Oh, John, that was a big fish. That's nice probably the school rushes in the house. That's one of them 200 pound Daryl fish there. Boy, every time that happens, you just lose a little piece of your soul. You're not wrong. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. Can you guess how big a fish? 20? Oh, yeah. At least. It had to at least be as well as I was thinking. I'm thinking 20. That's a good takedown. No, I was trying to calculate that hit when we I dropped my speed down to point three. Yeah, I, you know, so, when I drag, honestly, I, I think everything I catch is in the point six, point seven. When I go slower, my boat just it's getting blown and drifts all over the place. Well, that was exciting, anyway. And we meet, we marked three or four pretty decent looking yeah. things right in this general area. Even on side scan, I picked up some stuff that was sitting out there. I was kind of waiting on the blue board to get over there, hoping that blue board might get hit. Yeah. That's good. That's a good sign. There it goes again. That's a fish, too. There's somebody messing with it. He's going to try to redeem himself. That is that huge sh uh, shad head. Yep. That was a skipjack head. But that's oh, wait. No, you're right. That is the skip head. That was. Cover up my paint with a wet towel so it doesn't dry yep, out. Yep, so don't dry out. Keep the flies off it. So you usually do point three? Um, no. I play. Hey, welcome, go, Rob Fox. I go up and down. Like as we were coming through the turn, um, we were actually going point seven because of the wind blowing and everything. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to slow it down a little bit. But yep. no, last year most of my good fish came on between point five and point nine. Yep. Um but I've caught fish going 1.1 because I let the trolling motor get away from me one time. I wasn't paying attention. Yep. And we ended up with a fish, and I glanced down and said 1.1. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you go, that's all the, the planner boards don't really get the plane. No, not 0.1. 1. 1. 1. Oh, 1. Point. Well, you're flying then. That's what I was saying. I was yep. amazingly shocked. Look at that. More, you I mean, he's marking some monsters, some monsters. Oh, he's getting look at me. He's, he's getting excited. We're gonna use a bobtail. Bobtails. I like the big bobtail I got. I, I don't have one yet. He he like the Skittles, I guess he keeps telling me he's gonna give me one. Yeah. You gotta be on his good list. Yeah, I'm on. Rob Fox, hello, how are you? You must be using free must be using the dried freeze dry freeze hooks
Man, it's a nice day out here, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I should have used this reel for the one furthest out, like you said. Five rulers of a handle in its end. Yep. Now that thing does. That thing's got some serious. Yeah, it's like 38 or 39 inch recovery. That's pretty good. Which for is turn. why I like them for drag. Because. <laughs> yeah. Way out there. The red one are way better. Oh, yeah. Your dragon weights, Bobby? Yep, I like the red ones better, too. Well, I ain't got my none today. Am. See, mine, I took slinky weights. Slinky weights. And um, shrink, and mm. then there's foam in here. Ah, to keep the top up. Those are the ones I make. Those are your catfish hunter killers. All right, slow down, wind. Yep, that's going to mess you up. Especially coming up the back end. Yeah, it's going to push you along. Yeah, you can see how that one board's jumping. What time out. are you all getting off the water? And where'd you park? We're at the Chester Frost boat ramp. And we're probably getting off the water at what? 4, 4.30? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, it's got us going point eight right now. Yeah. Because of the wind. Yep, that's because of the wind. No, I just, during, during uh, fall, I was noticing I had to start slowing down to get the bites I was getting during spring and winter. An early fall. Yep. So that's why I started with going. It's all about learning. I'll start out. Yeah. I'll start out going like 0.2, 0 0.3. Well, I'll get everything out going like 0 0.5, 0 0.7. And then I'll start slowly dropping my speeds and seeing if I yep. get any bites. It's all good. Like there was one. Oh, the board's on there. Yeah. <sighs> We're now running six planter boards and one right off the back. All seven mad cats. All seven cats are mad. Now, I really wish my autopilot worked. That's the whole reason I well, used the autopilot work. It, when I hit for it to follow the tracks that you see that I have yep. done, it will start following it. And then all of a sudden it'll like make a sharp left turn and turn all the way up in speed. <laughs> so the last year I've been driving it by, by the controller. Is it? I used to just, I'll put mine on like North. You know, well, I do North, north but then I have to make slight adjustments because as you see the wind likes yep. to blow this kite everywhere. Yeah. Unless I'm doing, unless I got my trolling motor on like, two and a half or three, it's not going to hold my course. You know, it'll, it'll get blown off course. Like that 51 on Kings came off the rod closest to the boat on the corner. Dana's 49 pounder came off the rod, the planer board closest to the boat. <laughs> it's weird. So it's like the boat scares them. And as they run out, they find it. Yeah, could be. That's okay, I'll meet you at the dam at five o'clock. If you're James doesn't have a boat. Yeah, we're in his boat. Hang on, it says okay, I'll meet you at the dam at five o'clock if you were there and bring bring you some. Oh, he's gonna bring you some uh weights. Oh, Bob's talking to Yeah, me. Bobby Cat. Oh. I can't get in there at the parking with my boat, Bob. Not at the dam. 
Oh wait, no, I the first boat ramp, yeah, I could I could get down there and turn around. Um, I'll just reach out to you once we get closer to getting off the water because says okay, I would meet you at the dam at five o'clock if you were there and bring you some. Yeah, that's what he said. I already read that. So it's back down to point six finally. But yeah, that fish hit around point four, point five. Like I said, we were going seven and I started dropping my speed. Got three hey. people still in my stream. I appreciate you. Everybody's over chatting with James right now. I got how heavy how heavy, he is the cool cat. Yep. How heavy do you uh, or your dragon weights you use? So back here. Um, I threw on fives, which is realistically too much. As it, see, I usually, I use like, I like sixes. When I'm out um, on the main lake, I use six, seven, eights. Yeah. And they're hard to find sixes That's and eights. I make them. Yeah. Like that one first one I had you put on, I think was a seven and a half. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure I'm but on the bottom, you know? Here, I, I hate when they're off the bottom and you're just wasting your time. Well, normally you can tell when they're on the bottom when you get those. That yeah, little when they do that little bouncy the stuff. And, yeah, they're, they're not dancing. They're not on the bottom. But when you're on super muddy bottoms, you can get like we're getting on this middle one where it's. Yeah. Because I think that's the big heavy one. It's grabbing. Okay, it digs in a little bit. Or, yeah. yep. A little resistance. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh -oh, and I was yeah, my phone went uh went to sleep for some reason. After all that time, why would it go to sleep? I believe you want to use the smallest amount of weight you could get by with. That's for sure bumping, you but when snag you play less. with your when, well, I have floats on mine, so I don't snag. Too yeah, I, anyway. we got the hooks hooks up off the bottom, so plus yeah, plus those too. Um. No, and I did say I just didn't feel like digging under the heavier ones to grab all the threes I have in there. I, but I have yeah, I have you, twos I, I, all the way up to eight and a half. I always side on the heavier side when I should probably go with smaller. But I now don't know. bumping, yeah, one hundred percent because you're trying to get that float down. But dragging like this, yeah. If I was in suit, if I wasn't in a known bottom, I know this bottom. It's muddy. There's a little structure out in the middle, but I've never gotten snagged all the way in it. That, so that blue rock looks like it was getting hit. That orange, your 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 planter board was racing back there a couple times. Well, I am slightly turning this way, okay. so these boards will want to no, kick it back ahead. Like it was getting oh, a pill. A pill. Well, I need to top off my tea. He's got to top off his tea. Ugh. I use big floats too, big floats and little weights, and they never be on the bottom. Brandon and I dragged through some unbelievable garbage. I, you know what? I really don't snag up a lot when I'm dragging. To tell you the truth, I don't know. I don't know why. I guess it's good dragon weights, and you get the float, gets the hook up off the bottom. Well, I am going to say this. I'm not going to say the company because I'm just not that person. But there is a very popular brand of dragging weights that I purchased. And when I started using them, I started losing them. So I've kind of gone back to my own until I yeah. take time and add flotation to the top of it, which I will do. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> So this is what you do in the tournaments? God, how boring. <laughs> What's boring? You're always moving. You're always got something new on your screen. There's a nice something on the bottom. A little something, something. Uh, look at all the stuff you got to pay attention to. One snag and you got to take an hour to get all this stuff back in and get it all straight again. But see, I also, my dragging, I the never lost rods, a dragon weight. That's pretty good. The amount of rods I use depends on what I'm dragging through. If I'm dragging through some bad stuff, I'm only going to run four boards. Yeah. 
or I might only run two out the back and two boards and be really tight to it. But if I know that I've got pretty good and clear area like here. Oh, the wind. Yeah, this wind's going to force me to go faster. But during uh, the last, not the last Kings, but the last Kings of last year, when I was dragging, when I could go below 0.5, we yeah. were catching fish. But the wind was so bad, most of the time I had to go Can 0.7. I get point. a tambourine for the boat? I don't care. But are you going to? You better not it? say that out loud, or someone else is going to have a tambourine tonight. <laughs> hey, Miss Tambourine Woman. You know, you can't be saying that stuff in chat, Jody, because then it's, you watch. That'd be a tambourine man. Yeah, I'm not sure, Jody. Whatever. This is going to be those little finger clapper things. <laughs> yeah, here's where it gets fun when I have to have the trolling motor aim this way. To yeah. Keep the boat. <laughs> I hate it when the boat's tracking like this and you got all, yeah. everything is over here, nothing be nothing off the other side of the boat, stuff behind the boat, and then off way up to the right. But you happens. know, I think I'm good at it because. My the belly first time I ever, never, whenever I work, oh, he belly dances whenever he works. Okay. The first time I ever drove the ship in the Navy, I kind of got yelled at, and they're like, "To keep your head in with this much wind, you have to be actually five degrees further this way." Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, learning that kind of stuff definitely, I think, helps with the dragon thing sometimes. That can definitely helps when you're trying I to put a boat to on a trailer in the wind. People don't realize you got to come in like, they're like, oh, he's never going to make it. And then at the last yeah. minute, you The trailer's out. over here, and you yep. started over here. Yep. Especially the below Watts Bar Dam, that boat ramp is right there on the bed, on the outside bend in the current. People have the hardest time getting on there. Yeah, I knew when we got to the soap, it was going to be fun. Why, because of the wind? You know, I thought I was going to drag straight through, but I think I'm going to turn it. I think I'm going to turn it. You got to go, that's not a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I broke my neck. <laughs> Look at Mr. Basco coming back out. What a jerk. He's wake washing this here and now he's about to come do it again. Yep. A double wake wash right on, dude. Now let's go by that guy again. Hey, look, that's a good sign. The duck right there. Thanks. Appreciate it. Fifteen-minute break. How many fish you got? We got uh, the one, the one standfish, twenty-two point two pounds. And I missed two really nice ones. And well, I wasn't gonna bring that up again. I didn't want to, you know, stick that knife in you and just make you relive the nightmare of your. Well, the first one the just fish. didn't get hooked up. The second, the second one, one like, yeah, that I don't know what happened there. I wasn't gonna say anything. It's okay though. I mean, Sorry. it was in his mouth, oh. like you said, gar. I mean, I wouldn't oh, think baby. gar. Yeah. Well, I hope that guy goes by two or three more times. Oh my god, 
God, is this him turned around coming back again? It is. Do you know him? It's got no, somebody. I don't know somebody. Yeah. It is him, and he's coming by again. What the heck is that? Is it the same guy? Uh, maybe somebody was in his spot. Yeah, but he's way over there. He's not coming this way. It's the last minute. Oh, dude, if he makes a jet, I swear, you better mute it because I'm cussing. I'm cussing and a fussing. You're tracking a little sideways here. I'm tracking very sideways. One of the fish wind. beats the hell out of my last trip, so proud of you, fellas. Yeah, I hear you. I've had a few trips where uh, it's been less than one fish. Jody wouldn't have missed those fish, just saying. I remember. Oh, that's fish in the mid south sucking up. Yeah, okay, he's still going. I yeah. thought I saw him turn. I swear. It looked like he was turning around, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. He's over there. He's in, getting, he's in that danger area, though. That's real shallow over there. Oh my goodness! Bass boat only needs eight. He did do it. Water. He did turn around, but maybe he's out test driving. I don't know. He's out there going around in circles. Brian B, don't mute. I want to hear it all. <laughs> Me suck up. I'm a troll. <laughs> Oh, did I say that out loud? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Fishing a bit, Sal. Uh, uh. Says uh, Rebel River Cats. There's Don Johnson. Then Jody wouldn't miss those cats. <laughs> Look, I just can't get over how many people are out here fishing. There's like a million boats out here. Yep. The stands never have to deal with this. That's why there's been a couple times I'll just go fish the river. Yeah. It's because I don't want to deal. Like if the current's super low on the river, I know spots I can drag on the river. Yeah? Yeah, if it's under 11, Here I can. Buddy. No, nah, he doesn't have the two talons on the back. That's somebody okay. else. Bob sent somebody else over here to mess with us. Time, three o'clock. They're dragging back there, huh? I don't have crackheads zipping, zipping in and out. Not the one straight off the back, but your blue one. Yeah, it'll come back out once we make this turn. Nah, I mean, it was, it was, it was beep bopping like somebody was playing with it. I mean, maybe a channel, but that's not what we're looking for anyway, you know what I mean? I think fish is a fish. A fish is a fish. A fish I mean, since fish, I haven't caught anything, I wish I had a fish. fish, a fish oh. I'd like that goblin to get broken, dang it. <sighs> The goblin. Every rod up there has caught something over 30, except the goblin hadn't caught anything yet. Man, look at all these houses. It's just all like. There's not one house around here that looks like it's, you know, even remotely run down. So there used to be kind of this old POS house that's set right there. Yeah, they tore it down and put that one up. Mm -hmm. no, I'm sure that was cheap. Dude, it's 350 for like a quarter acres on the water now, especially deep water. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I could see the water. I'm not on the water. Well, I mean, if I had my boat in the water, you know, in its own dock, I want to make sure I have deep year round. Yeah. Don Johnson, hello. <laughs> Rebel, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Danny Stone back in the house on his break. I'm still here, four of you. Hello, hello. Nobody's chatting that I've seen unless my That's chat you stopped. Don't read it because you don't read it. That's why they're not chatting. No, I just got everybody popping in and out and they all got to do their hellos. 
Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. And then you got Brian B, that dork with his dumb, lame kindergarten tournaments. They're going to play Uno, and then we're going to go this. And you can win my Careful, tournament. You can win drama. my tournament without even catching a fish. Don't start drama. Don't get paid. <laughs> I'm just saying it because he's in here. <laughs> got to pick on Brian. Somebody's got to pick on Bubbles. Bubble, 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 bubbles. I always pick on him about that dorky little white hat he wears. But I can't knock Brian because I, I won a lot of his tournaments. <laughs> I did good in all his tournaments last year. Yeah, so do I. Keep it and toss it. And, uh, yeah, I think I ended up. I think I won both those. And... Oh, did he have two keep it and toss it? Well, he had the, the one that where you were uh, the surprise. Oh, the where, surprise part. It was a one. keep it and toss it type trial. Oh, yeah. We smoked and it. Me and Big Mike smoked that one. Yeah, y'all did. Well, and Daryl. Daryl was there. Got to give Daryl his dues. Because if you don't, you're never going to you're gonna pay a heavy price. I hope the Uno winner catches nothing. I'm sure he probably will. Brian, that would be funny, Brandon. It, it probably happened. It'll be John with his skunk, and I'll catch a big fish, and he'll get it. Wait, can I just wait? So wait, you're saying I could sign up for this, sit at home and stream him on my couch and still win? No, I think you got to at least be out on the water. Got to at least be out in the water and have rods in. I thought you wanted to go that way over there. I'm getting to it. Oh, okay. Just I was trying to adjust for this wind. So Fun part of me was thinking of go ahead and going into the wind. Since it's got us all or you could just green or... screen like like uh, Brian does when he says he goes out fishing. He just runs a green screen and sits at home. Tries to convince everybody he's out fishing. He's got a good video guy, though. I mean, it looks pretty realistic. Wow, I was for sure after that first big hit and everything you've seen. Yep. I'll be hooking up back here. Oh. Yep. Just never know. John, if you would switch and try the executioner hooks, you wouldn't lose any of those fish, which is no doubt, because you pretty much got to cut them things out of a fish's mouth to get them out. You hook a fish, and he pretty much is going to die with you trying to get that hook out of his mouth. I'm serious. Every, every, every one of those, I got to get pliers out, and I like get my two feet on his head, and you're like, ah, oh. Since I've started using the ones I use now, I've had those issues too, where it's like pliers on every one. I can't pop them out like I used to be able to. Yep, Jody, don't talk about those hooks on James's channel. He doesn't support those hooks. What are you talking about? It's on most of my rods. I'm a Mustat Demon Fine Wire guy myself, but. Jody Fish is on my boat. Jody's got sponsors, so. The Uno tournament is when James will catch his 90. Yep, he owes me. And it will go to somebody else. Yep, no doubt. No, I'm but sure, it's still, it still I'll still take that 90, there. though. It still counts for you for that big fish for the. Uh, yeah, that's true. 2000. That's true. That, 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 I'm, if I could win that alone, I'd, I'd be good. Yeah, that would definitely help offset some costs. Hopefully, I won't get fizzled this year. <laughs> A little backstabber. Jody knows what I'm talking about. Jody knows what I'm talking about. Y'all should try new Bobcat Claws hooks. I'm fixing to start selling them. Didn't know you were. Didn't know you had them, Bobcat. The bobby hooks? Bobby pins? <laughs> what are you going to call them? <laughs> the bobby pins. I love it. Let me get a dozen bobby pins off you, size 10. <laughs> I'm importing them from Poland. There you go.
Yeah, because it gets really wide here, I kind of dip down into the mouth. Of he's the dipping here. down into the mouth here. And then I'm turning back to go up through there. And he's going to turn back to go back up in there. I would have never thought of dragging through here, to tell you the truth. Look at this. Yeah, look at all them sturgeon. Something. Something big. Let's just hope it's eaten. You got your duck following you. That's always good luck. I'm telling you, every time I get a duck that's fishing with me, I always do good. Come on, ducky. Yep. I'm going to chase some fish right over to your bait. Everybody's importing their theirs from China. I want to be different. That's it, Bob. It's That's what you got to be a little different. Where yours coming Team from? Team, my Taiwan. bad dude is fishing the tournament Pay Lake for the league. Yeah. Don't get me started. You actually cut my hooks off and tied different ones on your hooks up. Rotation has what the heck is she talking about? I would cut anything off. The hook has hook up ratio has suffered from it. Yeah, we haven't had any bites. And what kind of hook up ratio you want off that? Yeah, we've had a couple bites. Hey, what's up, Quiet Man Curtis? Jody dreams fishing stuff all the time, and I get in trouble for doing stuff that she's dreaming. It doesn't even happen, and she thinks it happens. <laughs> team My Bad Dude will be the most hated team up in the live fishing league this year. Yeah, I guess every time they, they catch a big fish, they're going to be like, My Bad Dude. Like, that wasn't, you know, cootie, advertised. Hi, Cootie C Curtis, says Jody. Who's going to be? Bobcat and uh, Brandon? My bad, dude. Yeah, I mean, that's the name of their team. Oh. I'm really shocked he didn't try to name it Point One. Yeah, <laughs> just, so am a, I. just a mess. Yep, just a mess. They need to be called Team 10,000 Miles because Cootie they'll Julian. go 10,000 miles to yep. get the fish. They'd be fishing in like uh, some Pay Lake in California. I need a teammate <laughs> for when I fish below the dam. I know you're working, baby. I might have nightmares about that takedown. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Oh, yeah. I need does. a team. Oh, that's Jody. Jody needs a teammate for when she fishes below the dam. Dude, we had that one night. She needs a teammate for Kingston. You remember Jody had that one night where she was losing all the fish and everybody was joking about rubber hooks. Yep. And then Brandon and I went out dragging and we had that same problem that one night. Everything for the longest time would take it and run with it, but it wouldn't hook up. Crazy. It's like they just grab it in their mouth and yep. not all the way in the mouth, just in the tooth patch, and that's that's why. Yep, Jody's taking applications for a for a fishing partner for below the dam. Dana might fish it with her. Because there's been a couple, she was like, why aren't we fishing this? Why aren't we fishing this? Because you're a fair weather, like the you're finesse. A fair weather fisherman. No, like the finesse one. I don't want to have to undo all my all my line. Yeah. I'm not going to go fish with a bluegill rod. That's another That's one I'm not fishing. That's the only thing I have two-pound test on. Yeah, I'm not I'm not, I'm not pulled, one undoing all my, my reels. Because even my bait reels have bigger lines. Skipjack yep. break, you know. So that's kind of why I just don't feel like having to re-rig everything. There you go. There you go. There you go. Patriot rod. No, it was definitely getting a hit. 
it was like bonk, bonk, bonk. Most definitely getting a hit. And it's getting ready to go. Watch it, watch it. Come on, fish. So come back and get it. Turning, that should be going a little faster. I'm thinking I might bump my speed up a little. Go ahead and do that. Go to seven. That's the other reason I try to zigzag a bit. Is He's zigzagging. Because when you're zigzagging, if you're turning, and let's say you get hit on the side that's pulling out quicker, then you know you need to bump your speed up. Yeah. You get hit on the slower one. So, yeah, the zigzag something I kind of – and I will say – that is not from from Catfish Hunters TV. That is from Slunger Cat Outdoors. Slugger Cat Outdoors. Chris uh, Chris, Chris Souders. Souders. Yep. yep. He is the one who talks about dragging and doing that zigzag. Man, where'd that fish go? It's on that back one. I don't know. I'd like it to come back. Should have a video coming out next week. I'm going to take a, as long as the weather looks okay like it has been, I should be doing a veteran trip next week. I always zigzag trying, I, I always zigzag when I'm trying to go straight. That's <laughs> the zizzle. Because you don't pay attention. We've heard about zigzag you. on the rig rod, rag. Brandon Dragon. Brandon Dragon ad style. I'm former military. When we hear gunshots, we zigzag. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, take it. Take it. Eat it now. Feed me now, Seymour. 40 feet, one minute, 14 next. Yeah, 40 feet, one minute, 14 foot the next. Can't switch teams I know you're once you're on a team. You Thank stay you. on the team. Right, Brian? Yeah, well, I didn't say anything about that. I think he was talking about when I said Dana could fish with with, uh, with her. With Jody. Yep. But see, I've never, I no haven't named hopping. my three, I haven't named my three people for my Yeah, team. but no team hopping, she's saying. That'd make her a hopper. But I mean, I have a couple different Joeys. I'm only naming two people that's on my team, and that's me and her, because there's tournaments she's not going to fish with me, so I'm gonna have a Joey. Yeah. And there's tournaments that her son will be here over the summer, and he's gonna fish with us. But I don't want to name him as my third, and then shut off the need need of a Joey. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. No, it's just me and her, but. I'm we'll fishing solo, baby. That way I got nobody to blame but myself. And I'm not carrying yeah, I'm not know, car and I'm not carrying somebody around. I want to know what the exact back backroom deal was made between Bobcat and Fish Shizzle for Brandon to not fish Kings and Bob to not fish the live fishing tournament league, but to be Brandon's. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there's money involved. You know that diamond Brandon for Zizzle. Speaking wonder, of the zizzle, I'm there he he's is. going to give Bob his boat. We need a third for team, my bad, dude. Travel required. What's that one doing right there? That see that orange one? You that see that? That was a bite. Hit. That got a hit. There goes that one. That might be a snag because it's kind of slow. I don't know. If there, if it's a slow, steady pace, it's yep. almost always a snag. Right, but it was, it was kind of there. There you go. Nope. You gotta be dragging over something because they're all kind of bust. yes. There's an old bridge here. You see it on the depth finder, right there. That little a, com box. a committee will be formed. Inquiries will be made. Travel required. Yep. The application is six pages long. You gotta press hard to get through all six copies. 
three by five semi glossies portrait picture will be taken. But yes, it's very snaggy. Right Questions here. will be asked. There will be a test. Come on, keep coming across everything. <laughs> yeah. You got to learn the heat secret, uh, secret handshake. Yep. Yeah. You got to, yeah. You got to have the, know the fizzle bobcat, Bobby secret handshake. I'm shocked that Brandon took Daryl fishing for bait. Cause I, I know that's one of the stipulations is don't tell anybody where the bait is no more. Yeah. He told me not to tell anybody. And then he told everybody. <laughs> and then he took the mouth of the cell. Oh, wait, no, that's Jimmy Hart. Yeah. Jimmy Hart. All right, like so said, they'll be running at the three, Watts bar. Here, these so. two boards, the yellow and the black, yep. might start making pops back. They are now. Because we're getting ready to come yep. across a shallow point yep. over on the side. I see them. They're all jumping. There are secrets between us. But they Dale Hayslip, any fish caught? Yeah, we caught a 22.2 pound blue. And uh, John's let two go. <laughs> Maybe. No, I, I lost two. There are secrets between us. Oh, God, I got the yards, boy. Woo. Need some oxygen. There are always secrets, Bob. B. Bob B. Ba, and then there's another it's B cat. Bobby cat. Bobby cat, Bobby cat. Da, 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 Bobby. Bobby Izzle, Bobby Izzle. <laughs> A Bob, Bobby, Bob, Bob Zizzle? Or Fizzabi? Well, that's why they came up with, I'm sure, Team No Bad was so they fished under a new... A new, a uh, whole new title. Yeah. Us natives hey, all that's have gonna give us sick. I have to stick together. That's just going to give us more gear to wear, you know? Because you know they're going to have to get some hats and, and shirts. See, and when stuff I'm coming in and out of here, I hate people like you because you got your boards out. You can't even get by them. <laughs> you can get by. Just run really shallow. Should I get an iPhone or a Samson? to YouTube with, I don't know, it's all, all personal preference. My phone is shot. Your phone's shot that you've had for two months? She bought two new phones and they're both not worth a crap. Ain't supposed to be like that about the bait share information with you fellas. Cat fishermen, not bass fishermen. Yep, supposed to, supposed to share. Sharon's Karen. No, Karen's bitchy. <laughs> Sharon's awesome. <laughs> yep, Sharon's awesome. Karen's. Nope, Sharon is Karen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, at least we put you on a fish, I guess. Yeah. I got to feel the tug. I've given you a couple chances. You'll get one before we get back to the dock. Dude, I can't believe we didn't hook up over at the wall. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with how much... Well, there's, so, there's, there's three up. people over there already fishing, really, though. Yeah, but they were bass fishing. They were bass Karens fishing. are not cool. Gosh. I mean, if you need to go down there, there is a cabin. You no, I'm down. fine. I just, just my, nap, my me, nappy time. Daryl told me you had a bed in your boat, so. Nappy time. <laughs> Wait there for a second. Get some water. Ah. 
good old water. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah, give me up to two hours. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think oh, I'll I take... forgot. I got. What are we looking for? That'll work. You know, that'll wake him up. Hold on. Now I eat my sandwich. Good old nasty McDonald's. Cold. Oh, no, this is Hardy's. I forgot. Boy, Hardy's got a good breakfast biscuit. That uh, pork chop with the gravy on it. Oh, heart man. attack! In that's the a bag. that's a little heavy in the morning, but I I suffered through it. Yeah, Jody some. showed me those. The heart attack in a heart attack meal for breakfast. Pork chop, smothered crackers. gravy, Sorry, on a biscuit. Girl. On a biscuit. Dale hits Aesop says Android phone. Jody. The Zizzle says whoop. I don't know, man. Those the front cameras on the iPhones. Uh, 13 and or wait 14 and 15 have some amazing night vision on Whoop. still marking all sorts of fish you think you would hook one Marking a ton. I hate that's why I hate marking fish. I hate that. I thought the iPhone 2, I can't keep the Air, Air, AirPods in my ears. Don't get the, the Don't Apple get AirPods. Ones. You can buy any, any, anything will work. It's just Bluetooth, right? So you can use any earbuds. Yep. I know when it gets t-shirt weather around here, I'm going to be dragging boards on the mud flats in the shallow waters. Now the... Now the uh, the Beats are also made by Apple now. Yeah. Um, Apple bought Beats from Dre, so got for billions of dollars. So those have a softer earpiece, so they might stay in the ear better. Is kind of what I was getting at. Brandon says moo. Boo. I guess he's on his farm. Oh no, Bobcat said moo. Maybe they're trying to say move. M O M O O O O O O O O. Yeah, he's marking all sorts of fish. They're, they're here. I mean, we have fresh shad. The problem is that he hasn't used the white bass he has. Fighting the wind. It's no fight, the wind's winning. <laughs> when do they when do they uh, get get away from winter pool? When do they start bring, bringing the lakes back up? Soon. Is I think it? it's the beginning of the month. Beginning of uh, April. April, yeah. Chick takes longer to fill is the like the longest man. Watts bar fills quick. <laughs> at least when you look at their little projection guy. Yeah. Does. Let's and the only reason why they fill them is just for the boaters and stuff, right?
I mean, I'm sure that's part of why they don't. I mean, they don't, they want to keep them low because in the case of the rains yeah. and stuff. He's making a turn. Trying to. <laughs> this wind is like not allowing it very easily. Bobcat says April May if. Yeah, it takes like two months to fill ours. The zizzle. Why did the chicken cross the road? My bad, dude. Bop, 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 says Jody. Bobcat says, why aren't you catching him? He's not really trying. Not no, all, we not just have baits. Right. We just have baits out for no pair Bear of hooks out. Uh, ain't got no bait on it. Ain't got no bait on it. Ain't catching them like that. says needed bait man he got the boat he's got the boat going all sideways now <laughs> the planter boards on the left are right behind the boat yeah he got no idea what he's doing none <laughs> the wind's got us going this like isn't a tournament nine. you could go ahead and catch fish <laughs> Who said that? I don't know. I just said it. Oh, you? Okay, I thought somebody said it on that. No, that was me. No, hey, I've tournament. won tournaments, dang it. <laughs> like I said, it was that beginner's luck is all you had. You came in here like a like a, like a big ball of fire, and then you burned right out. No, nobody yeah. burned out. No, yeah, you were thinking of the past. You won the two, the first two uh, Jody Friday night fishing things that you were on, and you just thought, "Bam, I am the man!" I told him, "That beginner's luck's over," and then, "Bam!" You just crashed it. No, point. we won. Hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> we won Kings. Fish Jody's tournament came in second. Fish Jody's tournament came in first. Yeah, that's, that's that was your beginner's um, luck, and then fished another Jody's tournament. I think finished first when yeah. we fished with Brandon, and then you started talking smack. Um, and then we you fished, crashed and burned. We fished Brian B's uh, Whisker Cup and won. Thank you very much. Still um, in your beginner's luck window. We and now look at you. We fished. We fished the Monster Cat tournament and. We led week one, and now you're. But week two killed us. <laughs> you just washed up. No, I, I my water temperatures need to be between sixty one degrees and eighty degrees. Apparently. Now David Hughes knows I'm live, and he's texting me. I slapped the heck out of him. He's texting you saying, tell that fool to catch a damn fish. He's saying, have you caught any fish? He knows if I'm live, you knock me off for a little. This guy's got a choice. Which way is he going to go? He's going to go that way. He's going, what a jerk off. Don't do it. I wish he didn't come over here. Blow my boat that way. Look at this. I gotta go over here. Look at them barks. Look at them fish. Dude, we've seen nothing. That's all we've seen all day. They're carp. Everywhere we went, we've seen lots of good marks. I reckon you need bait on the, on the hooks to catch them fish. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sling blade impersonation. I, I, I reckon you need the bite on the, on the hook. You That's beat a guy. I'm... Here we go. <laughs> you beat a guy with a. You beat a guy with a clogged up heart bow. I mean, he wasn't the only one fishing. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't even in that tournament. I hate to be this way, Jody. We never. Wasn't. You never answered why the fish crossed the road there, girl. Brandon led the thing most of the day. And here we go. That's so last year. What have you done lately? <laughs> right. That nothing. I know. 
He stopped fishing in the winter altogether. He just gave up. He's like, I'll freaking I can't find the fish. No. I Meanwhile, all of us veterans are out there sticking it out, trying to catch fish. Oh, I gotta do the maintenance on my boat. I gotta, I gotta I'm changing the oil in my my go kart. I, I gotta. My, my 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 Cox car is uh, I got to uh, balance the tires on it. I got to. Yeah, that boy, that that list of excuses was huge. This guy's just parked right in front of us. Did he? Oh yeah, are you dragging him? Let me let me block you off. Oh, he did. Got pulled right out in front of us, and he's he's, he's spot locked. <laughs> Guess you'll be maneuvering around him, won't you? Maybe he'll put you on I fish really, if he takes you I off really your track. I really can't because he gets super shallow right over here. That's where the fish are at. Super shallow, says Jody. It was a tragic boating accident. Bobcat says excuses, excuses. Okay, it was just it was it was the beginner's luck, and then he then he did the ultimate in sad. He went and brought the kid out so he could have the kid luck. Brought the kid out. That's when he won another one because he had the so kid much. with him. I, you know, that, that Hi, Daryl. Sorry, me. I wasn't reading chat because oh, you know Daryl's is busting my balls. But <laughs> hello, Daryl's on his even life. still in here. No, I'm sure he's not. Yeah, he's probably not. I wouldn't read the chat. He's like, I'm out. Yeah. So he brought the kid out so he could win a tournament on the kid luck. <laughs> that, I was like, ah, what? That, that's cheesy. I go, look, he's got. It. Oh, there we go. There's a fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Let's see if he can get this one in the boat. And once again, it looks to be a decent fish that he's going to let go. Oh, my God. That's it. I'm not letting you tell. Oh, he's still there. He's still yeah, there. He's coming towards the boat. He was just it's a big fish, so he's swimming towards the boat. Look at this action shot. Look at this action shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to get the net here sooner or later. Well, he hadn't got him to the boat yet. He's, this is about the area where he lets him go. <laughs> He's trying to get his remote out of his pocket so he could control the boat that's getting ready to hit this bass boat that's spot locked in front of us. Oh, this is exciting. If you ask me, this is exciting. He's going to. Oh, it looks like a good fish. I bet you he could lose it before it gets here. We're getting wake washed, too. Now, that. What's Daryl saying? Now, that, that, that right there, that's a beat. That's a Come big on, fish. Out of oh, he just he just ran it into the other line. Gets all tangled up. I gotta put the phone down. You guys are gonna have to wait because I gotta get the I gotta get the, the net for him. I'm getting the net. I'll get the net. Oh, he's still looking at the motor. There he is. Caught him right in here in the shallows almost. Let me get the net. The fish is up. It's yeah, a good looking here. fish. Yeah, that's a nice looking fish. Let me see if I can let me see if I can knock him off with the net. Okay, Daryl. I've knocked up plenty of fish, plenty of good fish. No, I just know that's Boy, he's always a fighter. Daryl say. He's in the net. No, that guy could scoop. Boy, that boy's a scooper right there. Look at this, you sap. How, how lame. You're going to put your GoPro on there to try to... Oh, I got the scoop of the fish angle. <laughs> Come on, dude. I that. haven't done it yet. I thought about it, but that's a 20. Look at how small that bait is. That's a 22.2 pound fish. That might yeah. be. Trying to look over here, make sure we're lined up. Oh, what was that? I should have reeled you in? Oh, no. But I, you got to let him have one fish today. <laughs> That's not a bad fish. No. Let me get my camera up so we get a picture of him before, you, before he drops you. But. You but. See, come look at where this hook is. You see where I like those hooks? Yeah, coming out. That's good. Yeah, it ain't coming out. And then what'd you do with the other two fish you lost today? Well, it wasn't on this rod. Here we go. Let's go. This rod has a super. He's motor. swinging it around. Let's get him up here. There you go. Oh, almost a whip to the face. Oh, he's trying to get him. He's that a fish spicy is a little hot. That's a Jody fish right there. <laughs> two swipes to the head. He tried. He didn't get me, but he was close, man. That's a good he's fish. A spicy meat. You gotta weigh that guy. You gotta need to weigh that guy. Hey, will you hear me my scales? No, nobody cares about your phone. Right no, there's nobody you. watching you. <laughs> Probably not. On your channel. No, I'm just kidding. We got uh, 22 people still in here with me. There's your scale. Look at these jaws, jaws of death to hang on. Yeah, he's... This is where he lays the camera down, and you miss all the good parts. That's right, because I didn't catch the fish and him. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. 
Bobcat says pooper scooper. What do you got? 22.2. No, 18. 18? Oh, that, that little guy. Let it out. You need it. There he is. Hey, guess who's in here watching? That's still a fun fish. Tissue seekers outdoors. I mean, trophy seekers outdoors. Oh, because I didn't talk to him in my chat. Because Daryl, because you didn't talk to Daryl on your chat. That's 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 a big fish right there, folks. Eighteen point what? Uh, it was eighteen point four, but the grips. Uh, no, the grips are nothing. Eight. The grips ain't nothing. People kill me with the grips. The grips. There he goes. He's got his fish. That fish wants to hurt you. Daryl said, oh, shut up, Daryl. I ain't even going to read that comment. <laughs> John, because Fizzizzle already ratted you out and said you wouldn't even leave him any bait. You took every single skipjack that you two caught, and you wouldn't let him have anything. Huh? That's what that's what Brandon was saying, that Daryl stole all the bait. Oh, they Daryl caught. stole all the bait. Yeah. Daryl was saying I stole no, all the bait. No, no. Daryl... Daryl, Fazizzle and Daryl went out, caught a whole bunch of bait, and he didn't even let Fazizzle have any. John is up to three people now. And me and... James! Oh, another, another fish on. Nope, came off. Is he there? James. You can have him. You go back to back, baby. It's your boat. You're dragging. Get him snagged up in the other line. Because this guy's dinky. Oh, dude. You come off? No. He's there. He's small, though. It's tied up in the other line. No, oh, he's trying to hook it up in the other line. I'm going to have to get the net again. Hey, you got to get that fish in. That's your rod. Yeah, I know. You better not lose that fish, dude. Oh, he can bring this. Oh, oh it's a Chanel, Chanel cat. Screw that. A Chanel cat. Bring him in. Hold on. I, can, I need to move away from bro over here. <laughs> he's got the Chanel cat. That's not the skunk buster. I yeah, that's a skunk it. buster, though. You, you got the jinx off that rod. Maybe if he gets it in, it's all tangled up in the other one. Look, I'm dragging them both planer boards in. Oh, he's even got a freckle for you. Oh, he's barely whisker hooked. Is he whisker hooked? Yeah. You got to get him in the boat to get them. That jinx is gone. Right on, dude. There you go. See, now this is just... Now you're really turning towards, oh, that guy's right there. There you go. That's what he went the other way. I am impressed. Tissue seekers outdoors. That's funny. John, don't you even read his chat. John, don't read his chat. I have zero skips, says Fizzizzle, after catching 150 yesterday with Daryl. Chanel cat. Poor Brandon. That's a nice, that's a good looking Chanel, though. But that's nice about dark, what you got that green going on this side, to be honest. With you. Yeah, that's what I figured. This is a Jody spot right here, boy. The, 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 the Dink City. All right, let's go ahead and reel stuff in, James. Bobcat said those are bad luck. I need bait. Would you just sell it, Jody? Daryl's a hoarder. He's probably got like five freezers just full of skipjack. Probably thousands of them. Like Uno Via. So, are we calling it a day? Yeah, it's. I think that good call, good call. It's eight fifty or three fifty. Yeah, but you made four. your you made your big comeback, and you got two. I only got one. And this tangle I have is going to take probably a good 10-15 minutes. He's got a ten or fifteen minutes tangle to do. Say we're taking the weights off. Okay, good. Where's your uh, weights go? Um, in that cabinet, but underneath your water. Tank. Oh, I see how it is. Put put them underneath my water. No doubt. Get up there. Oh, the camera fell. Hang on, folks. We we'll get you back up. Ah. Right. Ah. What? Stop hooking yourself. Yeah. Right. I mean, I can't hook a fish. I yeah, I can't myself. hook a fish. Right. You're putting these rods where you could get them torn off by the trees, right? <laughs> no. Actually, I'm not. Well, he made it a pretty good day. Sal salvaging the day there right at the end. I'm impressed. Well, at least... Yeah, that was a good day. Heck, you ought to walk it a good day. Yeah. 
Now, if I drive home real fast, I can maybe get 15 minutes of sleep before Jody gets there and starts yelling about, you never fish with me. Hopefully she's, hopefully she's not on her fast broom and flying out. She's on the slow one. I'll get you my pretty and your little dogs, too. Yep, it's Thursday. No more sleep from here until Sunday. No sleep yep. until Sunday. That's it. Hey, that was a night. That was like the Navy right there. <laughs> yeah, which she is. I'm telling you. Wake up Friday morning and you don't go back to sleep till Sunday yep. noon. Yep. My other favorite thing about the Navy is you're doing the old. Uh, Oh Lord, just, just let me make it through the morning, please. I'll never drink again. <laughs> yeah. If I could just, if I could just make, oh I, God, I'm done. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never had those kind of nights yeah. out there. Yep, I've thrown up at places that I'll never visit again. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've thrown up in some countries most people have never yeah. gone to. Yeah, never yeah. gone to. Can't afford to go to. They never oh, be able to afford to go. Now. Especially now. Yeah. What's that? What's that place? It's all souped up now by rain. Uh, not by rain. It's uh, Dubai. You know, when we went to Dubai, the only thing that was out there was a fuel barge. There was nothing there. Look at the amount of slime all the way up this line. Man, that was a good fish you let go. That's nice of you, though, that whole catch and release thing. You know, you don't want to embarrass them on camera. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't want to get any credit I, I for that. You don't want to get any credit for that fish. Yeah, I don't need the praise or anything. No, else. no, no. That's right. He's just in it for the love. The love of it. What's he doing? I'm going to have real in this last one. Yeah, that's yeah. about the only negative about the Friday night, though, is the tournaments, like he said. Yeah, but she don't care. Well, I mean, she she's still Friday crying. night with her until like one, two o'clock in the morning. I don't need no sleep. Yeah, no, I, I need sleep. No, so do I. <laughs> hey, you're, well, I thought your player board came totally off. Uh, they will do that. I thought it was floating away. That's why I don't like those clips. I'd rather put the other uh, permanent clips on it. But they're a little hard to get off. But... I feel that when you have to what Brandon and them did with like uh sinking the boat? No, where no. you where you um you're talking about the release clips. Yeah. No, not the release clip. I'm talking about the, the these. Oh I put a clip on there so you the board ain't gonna come off no matter what. Yeah. That way you don't lose them, lose them. Oh okay. but as the relief clips, yeah, I ain't, don't know. Ain't got no bait on it. I got my release clips, I'm telling you. They don't come off for nothing. You catch the fish and you're fighting that planer board the whole way in. That's my worry, fighting the planer board. And when you're stopping for that minute to take the planer board off, you're giving them some slack. Yep. So I worry about. Yep, absolutely right. I worry about that kind of but stuffs. I don't know. And things, things and stuffs. I got a fat looking over in this village. Oh, look, he's going to hit the other boat. Oh, that's what you get, dude. That's what you get, Mr. I'm in a hurry to get to the boat ramp. He, like, he cut three people off. What a what a knob. Them, them, them bassers. <laughs> you, you, want this right? you put this rod up there, too. I like the way you were tree trimming with them earlier. Fishing the Mid-South. Hello, Donald Long. Howdy. Sorry we were reeling up. Um... <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and end this because we're going to finish bringing stuff in like yep. the drift sock. And he's only got three people watching. So I'm going to end mine where I got like 40 people watching. And, uh, and we have, uh, let's see, we have about a three second boat ride to the ramp. It's like literally. All right, right. Daryl, Daryl, then. Okay, I catch. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Had fun you fishing with James today. Bait. All right, everybody, we're out of here. I'm going to wrap this up too. So 